It is a sizzling Friday afternoon. And today, after spending a couple of days in Manila, we're back in San Juan inside the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center for another offering in the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Competition. Yung init sa labas, tadali natin sa court as these two teams face off each other today. These two teams got different results in their opening game. San Sebastian Lady Stacks losing their first assignment. They will try to bounce back against a very formidable LPU Lady Pirates team who won convincingly in their very first game of the season. Again, it is April 12, a Friday dito po sa NCAA Season 99 and we thank you for catching everything live right now. If you guys are watching online, thank you for tuning in via Facebook, YouTube, and NCAA Philippines. Nandiyan din tayo sa X and Facebook at GMA Sports PH. Of course, you guys are also catching all of the action live right now on your television screens via GTV. Martin Abair! Hello everybody and good afternoon. Hello sa inyong lahat mga kapuso. Martin Avier at your service for today's matchup. And we are with, of course, helping me break down this game. Nandito po, nag-iisang former Rookie of the Year ng NCAA. <laughs> former Lady Red Spiker, Miss Cheska Rakraken. Welcome back, Cheska. Thank you, thank you, Martin. It's so exciting to be back here in the NCAA Indoor Volleyball. Ngayon, sobrang excited ako manood ng game today and, you know, to see these girls fight it out, battle it out inside the court. That's right. This is going to be a great matchup for our fans watching at home. Pero ngayon, syempre, ang kukompleto po sa ating broadcast team. Reporting for both teams, we have Mickey Santos. We're interested to hear the stories, especially in the couple of days that they were able to train and, you know, talk to each other, regroup. So, we'll catch Mickey in just a little bit. Pero Cheska, LPU contra San Sebastian. LPU, ang ganda ng simula. San Sebastian, they fought, came, came up short against yeah. Papua. So, I expect these girls pareho silang gutom, no? Mm -hmm. Of course, may iksi lang yung competition natin. So, I expect LPU to want to win this match and to win all their games going to the finals. Siyempre, yun yung mga plano natin, di ba? Right. Lahat ng teams. But, I expect San Sebastian, since they lost their last match, gusto nilang bumawi. Because this is a short league. Yeah. And they so, know that. Uh -huh. Yes, and they know that. And I, I expect a lot from them. They have a great coach, of course. He coach Roger. Roger yeah. And we'll see what these girls will come up with in today. Our beautiful team standings graphic yeah. on the team standings right here. Great animation as well. Beneath Lady Blazers 2-0 right now. Uh, early on in the season, getting a couple of wins right away. But maagang maaga pa to. Our teams right now getting one, two games pa lang. So we can't really tell what's going to happen. Who's going to make it to the Final Four? We don't have a clear picture yet. We'll get uh, back at you maybe in a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Masyado pang maaga. Masyado pang maaga. We'll see pa kung ano pang mga adjustments na magagawa ng mga players natin. And, you know, bilog ang bola. We always say that. Mm -hmm. And lahat ng teams dito may chance pa. Hanggang may games pa. That's right. Unahin natin pag-usapan ang San Sebastian Lady Stags. They lost to the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Dikit naman lahat, 25-20, 25-23, 25-18. But you see the strengths and weaknesses of San Sebastian in this game. Jessica, I thought, you know, they just didn't have the firepower, uh, firepower rather. Yeah. That that is because of their poor reception in that game. Yes, poor reception, and of course, nakikita natin dito na grabe yung pinutas ng Mapua in terms of spike, and mas marami pang in error ang Mapua. But yeah. you know, binabawi nila sa mga attacks nila eh. That's right. Ito naman si Kat Santos. Although they lost, that matchup had 12 points, was in double figures, and she looks great this season. Yes. Physically, we're seeing him looking very fit. Talagang nagbunga yung kanyang off-season work. And this is just, you know, in a matter of months. Ito talagang nag-work nag siya sa kanyang katawan, you know, nag-diet, nag yeah. and you know, had the proper nutrition as well, had, uh, you know, Strength and conditioning. Nito ni Kat Santos yun yung pinagtuunan niya ng pansin. 12 points against uh, the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Yeah, she was very well prepared for this season. We'll see if yung teammates niya will be up there with her, will be able to support her this game. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited to see what they come up with. Kat Santos had the tough sophomore season. Yeah. She was not even the leading scorer of San Sebastian in the elimination round. It was actually Tina Marasigan. Mm -hmm. So we expect 
a bounce back season for Cat in season 99. On the other side, the LPU Lady Pirates, a very convincing win. Okay, <laughs> nakikiramdam tayo kay Cheska dito. Okay, dito kasi siya nang galing against the Sunbed the Lady Red yes. Spikers. Although they lost the second set right there, kung saan nakita natin yung laro talaga ng Sunbed, the LPU was able to recover quickly. Yes, that's right. Makikita natin na grabe yung firepower ng LPU. Dahil tignan natin yung spikes nila, mas malakas sila ng more than 12, well, like 12 sa beda. And of course, uh, they have four players who were in double digits during their match, which is very um, amazing That's para right. sa akin, ha? Because hindi lang isang tao yung pupuntahan mo. You have a lot of players that you can go to. Ang sarap maging setter That's right. ng, <laughs> ng Lyceum Lady Fire. Grabe. Ang uh, binuhos doon ni Joan Duguna. Unstoppable in this match. 17 points, 12 spikes, and check this. Five aces wow. in this game. <laughs> All arounder, Ooh. itong si Joan Duguna. We're excited to see what she will play like today. Mm -hmm. And alam ko na sobra pa rin yung firepower niyan as always. Uh -huh. And tingnan natin kung makakontra yan ng San Sebastian. Ito na, huwag na natin patagalin pa. It is going to be the LPU Lady Pirates and the San Sebastian Lady Stacks. Let's turn you over to our Coliseum Ito, announcer for the starters of this game. Oil Center San Juan. Ito po ang inyong NCA Season 99 New Heroes of the Game na mapapanood live ngayon sa GTV Worldwide sa pamamagitan ng GMA Pinoy TV at GMA News TV International at my live streaming class sa gmanetwork.com NSA Philippines website, YouTube, at Facebook with NSA updates, highlights, and results on GMA Integrated News Presenting our game officials for this match First referee, Rolando Casillian Second referee, Jason Magat This is match number eight in the women's division between San Sebastian College Recoletos Lady Stags versus the Lyceum of the Philippines University Lady Pirates. Let us now meet the starters for both teams. First, for the San Sebastian College, Recoletos Lady Stags. Middle blocker, number 10, their team captain, Amaka Tan. Outside hitter, number one, Kat Santos. Middle blocker, number two, KJ Junisho. Outside hitter, number four, Tina Marasigan. Opposite hitter, number 12, Juna Gonzalez. Setter, number 13, Vaughn Dimaculangan. And starting libero, number nine, Chloe Lazarte. Head coach of the San Sebastian College Recoletos Lady Stags is Roger Gorayev. Let us now meet the starters for the Lyceum of the Philippines University Lady Pirates. Setter, their team captain, number 10, Venice Buzon. Opposite hitter, number six, Jaja Tula. Outside hitter number 12, John Noguna. Also outside hitter number 15, Jonna Dolorito. Middle blocker number 16, Hiro Osada. Middle blocker number 19, Hart Bio. And starting libero number 2, Blue Guzman. Head coach of the Lyceum of the Philippines University Lady Pirates is Cromwell Garcia. It is Coach Roger versus Coach Cromwell. It's the San Sebastian the ating featured matchup of the day. San Sebastian versus LPU. Ito ay magsisimula sa magkabi ng panic natin. Both coaches sticking with their previous starting unit in their last game. Sa kanilang unang laban here in the competition. Of course, San Sebastian will be led by Kat Santos, Tina Marasigan, and Amakatan right there at the front line. KJ Junisho is back as a middle blocker after spending a season as a as an open spiker on the other side. LPU, this is you know the core that they, that made it to the finals last year. Pero may isang big addition para sa kanila. Yan din ay ang kanilang middle blocker, si Hart Bio, who 
showed as the firepower in that yes, game against uh, San Beda University. Bio had 11 points. Vinny, was one of the four players you were talking mm -hmm. about earlier, Cheska, who was in double figures in that game. Reserved for Venice Buzon. Always a solid server. Cross court hit right away. For Tina Marasigan. You know, makikita mo yung lip niya eh. Talagang nakakuha niya yung kanyang timing dun sa spike na yun. And you can see yung effect. Uh -huh. Yung results. Kapatay again. Ito, si Marasigan. Number one scorer of the Lady Stats <laughs> last season. Service. Service ace. ace! Wow, what a start here for San Sebastian. It is KJ Junisho. Yeah. Unleashing this from their middle blocker. You know, usually a middle blocker is not that heavy sa pag serve, but you can see kasi open spiker siya before. You can see na talaga may karga yung kanyang serve. Blazing na yun, ano? Na yeah. nag-transition siya mula din sa position niya. Wow! <laughs> Tina Marasigan! That's a point Two points! Right away! The uh, first three rallies of the match. Yeah. Uh, 120 ah. points last season. Number one scorer ng San Sebastian. 13.3 points per match. So, alam mong kargado yes. talaga yan. Pag natuloy-tuloy niya yan, hanggang sa dulo, you will see na that was one. NLPU. Yeah. They look like they're not yet, you know, themselves. Yeah. This is a shaky start for them, Cheska. Diesel, ata itong LPU na to eh. Baka nagpapainit pa lang sila. <laughs> Medyo na pala kasi yung swipe niya uh -huh. outside. That was Hiromi Osada, the rookie mm -hmm. middle blocker. Although service KJ yeah. commits a service error, that will give LPU their first point of the game. Yes. So ito si Jonah Dolorito. 14 Sir, points against San Beda. Jonah Dolorito. Was as per usual in his, or in her other mm -hmm. element against the Lady Red Spikers. Oh, Marasiga ah! this time! <laughs> that was a smart move from Marasiga. <laughs> she saw na talagang ang nipis lang ng pagka top spin niya. You'll see there. Pinadaan yeah. niya sa gilid ng middle blocker. Veterano, pumasa ng defensa si Marasiga. Kasi alam na niya babantayan siya, nice. sasaraduhan siya. Pinush lang niya, tinip yeah. lang niya. But medyo... Napalala, napalakas uh, yung serve ni Gonzalez. That's Juna Gonzalez, one of the eight rookies. Itong uh, San Sebastian, ten if you count the two reserve yeah. players, yes. ni Coach Roger. It's a good dig. Tinakulangan goes to the back row, Juna. Good dig from Tolorito. Oh, Toguna. Oh. Yup. About time. Yes. We heard from Joan Toguna. Medyo yung Ibero na una yung kanyang dive. Eh. So hindi niya nakuha ng maayos yung ball laban. That was expected from Toguna. Targeting ah. that cross court. Oo oh, nga, no, nakaluhod na siya nun. Here's Marasigan again this time. It's too low. Yes. Medyo nanggigal siya doon. Talagang pinalo niya pa direction na sa net eh. Yeah. Pero pag-usapan natin tong San Sebastian Cheska kasi dalawa yung position na crucial pinalitan ni Coach Roger in the offseason. The libero position, ang ginagamit niya si Chloe Lazarte ngayon, who is a rookie. Tsaka ang setter nila ngayon, si Vonti Makulangan, who is a transferee from UE. Nag-resident si last season. Malaki yung kanyang papalitan si Vea season. Yeah. Alam mo, ako proud ako against sa Libera nila since she's a rookie. Yeah. Pero makikita mo kung gaano kalaki yung heart niya, yung tapang niya para ilagay siya agad ni coach dyan. Grabe yung tiwala ni coach sa kanya. Determinado. Kay Von oh. Oh, si Von Dimakulangan. Yes, for Von Dimakulangan. You know, she has more experience and siguro nerves lang sometimes. Kaya pagkabago ka or first time mo maglaro sa ganitong kind of liga yeah. and you're carrying your school and they expect you to win. You know, and a setter is a very hard position. It is. Very hard position to fill as well for Cizo, di ba? Cizo lang ang kanilang previous setter. Yeah. So, kung ako sa kanya, she should just take it one game at a time. That's right. That's right. And, you know, trust herself. Mm -hmm. Siya yung nilagay ni Coach Jen. So, he expects a lot from her. Yeah. Pero ganun, ganun lang. After the slow start, it is yeah. LPU with a two-point lead. And again, this is how good this team is. 
doing a great job at the service line itong si Hiromi Osada. Mainit na ang makina nila. Uh -huh. Free ball that will be given to the Lady Stags. Di makulangan to the middle. Not gonna work. Sent back by Bio. Tinawid din. Here comes LPU. Toguna. Popped up by Santos. Ito ngayon si Marasigan. Passing it through the blockers. Yung Marasigan. Nakita mo talagang binaraso niya yung palo na yun. Kaya dumaan sa blockers niya. And targeting the smaller blocker of course. That's right. Tina Marasigan after the attack fault earlier. Bumawi agad. Ang tapang ni Marasigan. <laughs> Wala siyang pakialam sa blockers. Yeah. Now she's gonna serve. She will be coming from the back. Who's on? Easily ah. sent back by Amakatan. So seven all. Very competitive opening set. Tabla ulit tayo dito. Ganda ng timing ni Tan dun sa block na yun. Yeah. Eh. Nahirapan dun sa reception din itong uh, LPU. That was a difficult pass for Venice Puzon. Here's the Lorito, better first ball. Tulang. Not that time. Lazarte, underhand, reverse set. Oh, Santos is sent back. One more time for that. <laughs> this time, she puts it through, and that will lead us to our first technical timeout. On the other side, we'll have a report from Mickey Santos. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 20... Here's what you need to end the AAC's 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Now, even though these two teams either came from a win or trying to bounce back from a loss, the two coaches that I have talked to expressed their stress and disappointment from their team's first game. Coach Cromwell Garcia from the LPU Lady Pirates told me that he did not see the level of play that his players showed during their practices. Sana man lang daw ay kahit around 60 or 70% ang naipakita nila against Beda. On the other side, Coach Roger pointed out the first game jitters that were evident on not just on the rookies but in his veteran players as well. Parang mga batang paslit daw na hindi alam magagawin sa loob ng court ng kanyang nakita. Kaya naman ngayon, gusto niyong makita sa kanyang mga malalaro ang TV ng debate and the determination to win and not just to play. Would these players be able to match the expectations of their coaches? Yan ang alamin natin, Martin and Jessica. Maraming salamat, Mickey. I'm surprised with... Great report, by the way. I'm surprised, by the way, with... Coach Cromwell's reaction in that game against Anbeda because he knows that his players can, you know, give more in that particular match. Para dito sa San Sebastian, grabe yung, <laughs> yung pag-describe ni Coach Roger. Para mga batang paslit uh, na hindi alam niya gawin. Again, only the first game. Mm, that's right. And, of course, meron tayong mga rookie kasama sa loob ng court. Yeah. You know, it's their first game of the season. Meron at meron talaga first game jitters. Sa parehong team yan. Yes, ah. pareho, parehong team. You can't remove that from any league. That's right. And here's the replay. Okay, it went out. But they're gonna... Yeah, not over. Not over. Oh. So they'll give the point to San Sebastian who leads it. 9 to 8. Who's on? 1, 2! <laughs> Deceiving everybody! Who's on finding that donut hole sa likod ng mga blockers niya? How about this? The back-to-back -back best setter awardee, 97, season 98. Then is Puzon showing us the smarts right there. Very simple yung movement, pero very effective. Yeah. That's a good serve by Joan Duguna. Ball in transition. It's gonna be a free ball for LPU. Over to Jonah Dolorito. Dolorito is a pang firepower. Galing sa Lady Pirates. Yan, nagpapalitan sila ni Duguna eh. Pag si Duguna nasa likod, si Dolorito naman ang gagawa. And it's an amazing uh, teamwork from them. And of course, Puzon giving them the sets that they want. 
dumami na talaga itong uh, well nandiyan na yung dati pa Doguna Dolorito ayun nagtagit na pa pero si Kat Santos sabi niya kaya mo rin yan pinadaan sa kamay ng blockers yeah. and dahil medyo malayo yung depensa sa likod hindi na naabot yung you know. check ball yeah. there you go uh -huh. pero dumaplis eh dumaplis talaga uh -huh. dumaplis So earlier it was Marasiga, now it's Kat Santos producing for Baste. Yes, talagang malalakas ang open spikers ng parehong team. Yeah. Okay, ang ganda ng matchup natin dito. Firepower versus firepower this time. It is long for Jaja Tulang. Yes, masyadong mahaba yung na-target ni... Um, I think, I believe that was Dolorito. Oh, it was Dolorito, yeah. okay. Dolorito. Mahaba yung kanyang na-target, kaya sumag lumagpas. Lumagpas. Dimakulangan with a solid serve right there. Bio will be activated. And Hart Bio continues to be unstoppable from the middle. Nung game pa yan against San Beda, hindi mapigilan yung mga tip na ito ni Hart Bio. You know, pag proper placement lang yan eh. Simpleng-simple, pinapasimple niya yung volleyball. You know, hindi ko kailangan paluin yan. Ida-drop ko lang, pareho lang namang point yun. Grabe naman si Hart Bio. One of the... But the rookies na ito ni Coach Cromwell Garcia pero pinakamatang kanya yung player. 5'11". <laughs> so may height na sila. Last season, yun yung naging problema nila. Gonzalez who's on to the middle. Oh, Sara couldn't convert. Kat Santos are too low. For Kat. So that was a chaotic play for San Sebastian. <laughs> yeah. Scrabbling for the ball, scrabbling for the play, walang plans. You know, better reception muna, better first ball is what we hope for and what we want. So, we'll see. Oh, there. Oh, oh natanggal ang uh, yung isang sapatos na ito ni KJ Junisio. Kaya hindi inabutan oh. yung set ni Di Makulangan. Yes. Let's check this one out. You rarely see this happen. Yeah. Ayun, oh, yeah. That was scary kasi pwedeng matapilok pa siya doon. Oh, oh. Thankfully, hindi naman nangyari. But still, that's gonna be the point, a point for the league. Okay. Coach Roger, let's hear it from him. Hindi yung nakita mo lang. Hindi naman pumapasok pa. Layo pa niya eh. Ay! Ilus tayo. Hindi ka hindi blocker ang net. Tao ang blocker, hindi net. Masyado mong ikinikis-kis sa net yung palo. Kunin mo sa ibabaw yung bola. Coach Roger giving reminders to Vaughn, mm -hmm. di makulangan, na hindi pa naman pumapasok yung middle mo, mm -hmm. pwede mo pa sanang ibato yun sa open. Tsaka nga naman, tao yung blocker, yeah. hindi yung net. Exactly. Yun ang beses marinigin sa kanya. <laughs> Nanggigigil lang Gigil. kasi. She needs to relax muna, uh, you know, get her play. Oh. Service, error. Oh, service error on Heart Bio. By the way, si Bio, who produced 11 points against San Beda, did not expect that she would be utilized right away by Coach Cromwell kasi ang starter talaga nila off the bench, si Martin. Oh. Okay. So sabi ni Coach sa kanya, ginulat siya. Sabi, ikaw magsa-start ngayon. And that was the right decision for Coach. Yes, and she stepped up. Yeah, big time for LPU. Oh, that's, this is a nice rally we're seeing so far. Over to Jonah. Dolorito connects. Dolorito through the net. 14 to 12 so far for LPU. There you go. Sagit na ng yeah. dalawang blockers niya. So, very fast yung kanyang pagpalo, pag-release sa bola. Even with the challenge of the two blockers. Hindi nila inabutan eh. Uh, Sagit na nila dumaan. Wow, good pass. Oh, that's low for KJ. Yes. Yeah, kanina pa nangyayari yan sa San Sebastian. Straight to the net. Earlier, it was cut. Okay, si, nagkaroon na si Marasiga nung not over. Kat Santos, nagkaroon na rin. KJ Junisha meron na. So, si Coach Roger na yun. Nagpapalit ng diskarte. Wow. Si Marian Adia. Or Adia. Comes in for the first time. Let's see if she can change the complexion wow. here. Right away, right away. Establishing that connection with Tina Marasigan. 
and aiming for the cross court. Touching the net, you see the blockers' hands. Kaya napaganda yung trajectory ng ball eh. Oh! Wow. Sharp serve by KJ. Oh, this is her second one off the match. That was a good target sa gitna ng two players. Yeah. Bumaba, no? Yeah. yeah. Alam mo, mahirap yan ha. Yung gawin yung ganung classing serve. Classic serve. Yeah. And mas mahirap siya ni si Ben. That's right. Adia. Oh, Gonzalez off wow. the block. Wow. So, itong si Marian Adia making a difference so far. Setting up different teammates. Talagang pinalo niya to the hands of Dolorito. Nakikita mo na matapang din talaga itong player natin na ito eh. But, you know, continue lang nila yung ganyang gawain. Yeah. You'll see, you'll score. Pantay lang naman. 15 all. Yeah. Nagahabulin yung dalawang teams natin. Amakatan couldn't convert. And here comes Dolorito. Popped up by Santos. They go to Marasigan. Ball is still in play. Back set for Tulang. Not gonna work. Back row hit for Joanne. Easy up. Here's Gonzalez. Picked up as well. Tolorito will try off speed. And on si Marasigan. Pina. Nope. Good floor defense by both teams. And it ends with that attack from Osada. That was smart from Puzon. So Hindi na kasabay yung blockers. That's right. 16-15, Lady Pirates ahead. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at... Four off the match, but it was Venice Puzon. We've been mentioning um, off-cam, Cheska. <laughs> Ang ganda ng decision-making. Yes. You know, with the help of course, ang kanyang middle spiker yeah. na pumasok din talaga, giving her that opportunity to set to her. And wala na nakasabay na blocker from the lady stacks. Yes. Yeah. Ang in-expect, wing spikers. Yes. Ang mag attempt Alright, we continue. Oh, Marasigan is denied. Santos! Oh, that's too low. She hasn't, hasn't gotten that. The right height when she attempts from the back. Now you can see, Meron siyang sinasabi kay Bon eh. She wants a different set. Okay. We'll see 17, kung mabibigay na sa kanya in this next rally. So this is Jonah Dolorito, 17-15 LPU with two straight points. Good sharp one unleashed. And it results to an ace for Jonah Dolorito. This is an LPU team who unleashed 14 aces against San Beda. 14, 1-4. Oh. Wow, they have the firepower. <laughs> it's a service line. And we don't know kung walang receive yung San Beda, uh -huh. but we'll give it to them. Ang ganda ng service na lang. Yeah. Oof. Another low attack from San Sebastian. And that's been the problem in this stretch for them. Nababaon nila yung bola. Hindi na umaabot talagang diretso sa net eh. Yeah. Alright. Marasigan will be replaced here by Deposoy. So, ZJ Deposoy will be replacing San Sebastian's, one of San Sebastian's leading scorers. Oh, wow! What a sharp serve by Jonah. Santos, oh, who's on keeping it alive? It's a free ball. Baste on the attack. Deposoy. Looking for a check, pero walang ibibigay. Masadong flat ball yung kanyang tama sa bola. And with that error, continuing the 5-0 run of the LPU Lady Pirates. 
Coach Roger is forced to call a timeout. Not over, misreceive, outside. Wala tayong mananalo niyan. Yep. On point doon si yeah. Coach Roger. Five to nothing run. Karamihan ng puntos dyan. Galing sa error netong San Sebastian. Mapa error na reception. Tama siya. Or attack error. Yes. Grabe yung frustration sa boses ni Coach Roger. Yeah. Alam niya kasi kung anong nilalaro ng mga girls niya yeah. sa training. So she, he is expecting a lot more during the game. At nakakasabay sila kanina. Here's the setup for Deposoy. Oh, naabangan. Big block from LPU. Here's Gonzalez. Pulls on. Over to the Guna. That goes long. Yes. Targeting the corner. The left-hand corner. Yeah. Pero masyadong napahaba. We don't see a lot of attack errors from Joan Duguna. Last game or last match, I think she was 33% on her attack. So, very efficient. Oh, free ball. A chance for Baste. Running attack. Yeah. Amakatan! With emphasis on that slide. There was a check ball. Yeah. It's a great connection between Adia and Abakatan. Check ball or not, it's in line. Sa akto to mama. Sabi ng line judge outside. Ah, judge. Kaya sinabi niya kaya check ball. Yung first referee natin. Sinawag na check ball. Ito yung bawe. Yeah. Mula kay John Duguna. Powering through. Nablock man siya, pero palabas na. Sa outside, yung balik ng bola. Off the block. 21-17. Hiromi Osada. Half Japanese player ni Coach Cromwell that time. Her serve goes straight to the net. Giving life to San Sebastian. Tatlo na lang ang lamang. ZJ CJ Deposoy. Deposoy. May KJ sila. Meron silang ZJ din. Ayan, si Deposoy. Off the bench. She was the one who replaced Tina Marasigan. Ah, jump serve. Good pick up by Jaika. Oh, Toguna. Lazarte. Tan. Sending it across. Ito na wiki Bio. Wow. Wow. Bio. How about that tip? Another smart tip. From Bio, targeting yung long down the line. Oh, you see, nobody's there. So, prang simple, simple lang ang ginagawa. Pero nakakapuntos all the time. That was risky, but it paid off for her. Santos. Na depende sa han. Doguna puts it down. John Doguna. Twenty-three, eighteen, five-point lead established by the Lady Pirates. Doguna. Targeting that cross court, talagang nandaan sa left side ng kanyang middle blocker. Pero ang sabi niya, may blocker ba ako? Ayun, grabe naman yan. Oh! One-handed setup for Tan. Goes too strong. That was a good attack, fair wide. From outside. No blockers. Kasi no blockers. Pero masyari na sa cabin. Little too much to the left set point situation. For LPU, Adia setting up cut. Guzman with the pickup. Here's Doguna. That's Domingo picking it up. Deposoy too strong. And again, that's something they need to address. They give the set to the LPU Lady Pirates. The final here in set number one, 25. So 18, so LPU takes the one set to none lead. Pagbalik po natin, ikalawang uh, set natin dito sa laban.
Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Heidelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 90. Balik sa ating laban, LPU winning set number one. The score was 25 to 18. Let's check out some of the highlights uh, in that set number one. Back and forth tayo nung una, Cheska. Nag-iba yung complexion. Latter part of the set, I think, higher 15s. Doon na nagsimulang kumamada itong LPU. Establishing, I think, biggest was a five-point lead early on bago naging pito nung huli. Yes, and ang dahilan nito, pagkakasunod-sunod na errors galing sa San Sebastian Lady Stags. From palo nila, nag-error, to receive, to service. Yeah. So they need to adjust pagdating nitong second set. Kung hindi, we're looking at the same yeah. outcome. That's right. And what's ironic is that they actually got the f faster start in this match. Si Tina Marasiga, nakarami agad na puntos. But again, they were not able to sustain that. Again, staying consistent is going to be key here for this uh, young lady Stags team. That's something they will need to learn. Kita natin yung experience to ng LPU Lady Pirates. They were just relaxed. They knew that the system will work. They trusted the system, and it did. Yes, and yun nga, na nararatil itong Lady Stags pagdating ng long rallies. Lahat ng long rally was won yeah. by the LPU ladies, Lady Pirates. So let's check out some of the numbers. In that set number one, you're seeing the big one-two right here. Opponent errors. Lady Stags committing 12 errors. Halos kalahati nung set. Puntos nitong LPU nang galing sa errors ng Lady Stags. Yes. Kalahati. Ang laki ng kalahati. Ang laki ng, ang laki ng mapa reception, mapa atake. Yes. Combine, combine na yan para dito sa San Sebastian. Kita natin yung firepower dito. Papalag naman sila. Kaya nila sumabay. Yes, with Marasigan and Dumisio and everybody. Yeah. Santos. Lalaban at lalaban sila. But they need to limit those errors. Yun ang kalaban nila this game. Ito Hindi naman. lang yung kalilang kalaban dito sa kanilang oh. side. Sarili din nila. Sarili din nila. Oh, Kat Santos. Naabangan ni Dugo na doon. Dolorito! Oh. Wow, she is in Dol her groove today. Yes, Dolorito through the hands of her blocker. Parang wala na lang Parang sa kanya eh. Yeah. Sanay na, sanay na. Walang katakot-takot sa blockers eh. Naalala ko to si Jonah Dolorito. Showed a lot of promise as early as her rookie season. Ang ganda-ganda ng petek sa bola. Pero ito rin, rookie rin siya. Maganda rin pinakita rookie of the year. Former rookie of the year, Kat Santos. Yes, Kat Scores. Santos, another standout. Nagsagutan sila na ni Dolorito. And now the service is going to be for the Lady Stags. So Santos will serve again. Former leading scorer, I think season 97, that was when she led the league in scoring. Oh! Oh, kinuha ni Lopez. So Marasigan produces. She's back. Yeah. And hopefully, hanggang matapos yung set, she's gonna be here. Oh, they'll need her. That was a good target. Yeah, spiking. Kasi usually, hindi pero expect niyan kapag ka backline. Medyo gigit na na siya ng, yeah. ng pwesto eh, but you know, she targeted down the line, cross court. Here's the setup combination for Gonzalez. Lopez bumawi naman sa kabila. Here's the setup for Marasigan again. Not this time. Back set for Tulang. Nope. So this time to Gonzalez. Nando naman si Lopez sa likod. Long rally again. Dolorito with the push. And the return goes oh, out to so LPU, scores the point. Over dig from the libero. 
of the Lady Stags, si Lazarte. So, uh, bumalik na rin pala sa San Sebastian itong si Von Di Makulangan. Adia was actually the one who finished the set for them. Yung nagpalit ng playmaker, si Coach Roger. To all. Jonah. That one was straight to the net. And Dolorito made a transition kasi her rookie year, she had the jump serve. Yeah. Diba? Siya yung isa sa mga may mga jump serve dito sa liga. Tapos, starting last season, sinimplihan na lang niya. Pero effective pa rin. Yes. You know, kasi nakakapaagad naman talaga ang jump serve. It's like you're spiking from the service line. Nakakaubos ang energy. Exactly. Ito si Jaja Tulang. Sending it through the blockers. Yes, Tulang. Quiet lang pero effective. You can feel her presence pag dating sa mga ganito eh. Yeah. Back to her more comfortable position. Osada with a nice serve right there. Tan. Dolorito! Or Doguna rather. Doguna. Oh, Johan Doguna. Kung nandito ka, rinig na rinig natin yung power eh. Boom! Yeah. And you can see na late talaga yung block, middle blocker ng Lady Stag. Open na open yung gitna and para kay Duguna and she took that chance and yung opportunity kinuha niya talaga. Yeah. Very hard to stop. Almost an ace. <laughs> but it will be sent across Pio. Dumakulangan. Oh. Easy sent back by Pio. Mm -hmm. well, it's gonna be the call here. Yeah. Crossing the net. Okay. Too long. Cross the net. So error on the LPU side. That's right. This is Juna Gonzalez. This is a eight rookies ni Coach Roger, who is part of the starting lineup. Bio, bihira yon. Ababa yung tip do ni Hart Bio. Yeah. Medyo mababa yung set sa kanya. Yeah. Nasa mukha niya na lang yung set eh. <laughs> she made, she tried her best pero hindi talaga umabot. See that? The set was too low. Just try to push it to the other side. Get the net. Who's on? Tabo na! Pagkailangan ng sure point. Alam ni... Venice Puzan kung sino ang kanyang pupuntahan. Duguno, Duguna finding that down the line. Yeah. Alam mo, effective siya, cross court Survey lang yan, down the line. Jaja, kung ano yung, kung saan siya makakapuntos, kung saan walang tao, that's what she targets. Magaling siyang bumasa ng depensa. Di makulangan, over to Marasigan! Tina Marasigan! Kung porsyentuhan, <laughs> sa San Sebastian yeah. naman, si Marasigan. Marasigan waking up. Mm -hmm. Talagang nagising siya doon nung nilabas siya ni Coach eh. Oh. Of course, pag lumalabas ka rin, Cheska, syempre, you see the mm -hmm. game from a different point of view. Yes. Di ba? And you have a breather. Yeah. Na-overwhelm ka na, hindi ka na maka-point. Yeah. You know, it, it, it takes a toll on you mentally habang naglalaro ka. So, lifesaver din para sa oh, kanya correct. yung paglabas na yun. You can see it. Pagbalik niya, she's making points. Oops. Touch net. Net touch. Net Error. touch. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. On San Sebastian. So, tablahan tayo dito. Just like how we started. The opening set. Ganun lang. We wonder Jordan. who will pull away. Yeah. Set one, it was LPU. But not until the 15, 16 point mark. Santos. Who's on? Oh! Kinapos lang si Joel Duguna. That was a good intention. Yeah. Dropping the ball. No way. The set. Masano paso okay. sa attack line. You know what? Him six foot. Akala niya si Jaja. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ito Jaja rin. Two lang. Oh, that Jaja time it goes out. So San Sebastian <laughs> is first to our uh, technical first timeout time here. On the other side, as per usual, we're here at airport from Nikki Santos. Good job, ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. 
Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambata ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong sa Buanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medal. NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Mahirap kalabanin ng sarili. Yan ang palagi sinasabi ni Coach Rogers sa kanyang mga malalaro. Dagdag pa niya na oo, andyan ang mga coaches to train the players on their skin. Pero pag-usapang sarili na, the players need to overcome their negative thoughts on their own. Kumbaga, nandyan lang sila to support them all throughout. At dahil dyan, kwento nga rin niya sa akin na maganda naman daw ang performance sa ladies guys during the preseason. Pero parang nag-360 degree turn down sila sa NCAA at kala mo raw ay lahat naging first years. Still, pa alala na, na you can't make excuses. Agree naman dyan si Coach Cromwell dahil what he sees as the weakness of the Lady Pirates is their self. Kumbaga, yung tiway ng loob. Dapat daw ay hindi na nonchalant kapag nasa loob ng board. Because what he wants to see is the discipline, motivation, as well as the firepower and fighter spirit inside the court. Yan lamang mula sa courtside. Balik sa inyo, Martin and Cheska. Maraming salamat, Mickey. Bawal ang nonchalant. Yeah. Dapat energetic, enthusiastic pag nasa court ka. Kasi syempre, Di ba? Kailangan na uh, influence mo yung mga teammates mo. Ganyan, kailangan ganyan kayo as a team. And you influence yourself to move quicker. That's kapag right. uh, hindi, hindi ka nuns a lot. Oh, oh. <laughs> sa side, lang. Yes. Sa side naman nila, Coach. <laughs> um, of course, ito na yung main league nila. Eh, oh, NCAA. Yeah. So there's gonna, going to be a lot of pressure. Hindi ka tulad ng pre-season leagues. So I understand why. Parang nag-360. Mm. Mas kinakabahan na sila. But you can see naman na they want to fight. Yeah. Kinukulang lang talaga. The Mother League has a much different intensity. Santos, that was a sharp hit. It's a free ball though. For the Lady Stags. Oh, Santos, pumalik. Cut. Yeah. 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 Yes. You can see, dun sa palo niya talagang gigil na gigil. Katulad kanina, Cheska. Naunang San Sebastian sa technical timeout. Pagkatapos, tatlong sunod-sunod na puntos ng LPU. So now, the Lady Pirates have the lead. Ito na. They need to get that point back. Yeah. Para mas stop na agad. Yeah. Doon kumakalas, ano? Itong San Sebastian. Great job as well for LPU Heart Pio at the service line. Yung kulangan. Oof! Too low for KJ. Wow, back-to-back -back attack errors. Ito na naman yung pinag-uusapan natin nung first set. Yeah. Yung, sila na lang eh. Sarili lang nila yung kalaban nila. You can see na malaki, mas malaki siya sa blocker niya, pero still, yung palo niya, diretso sa net. Uh, Pareho-pareho. Nagigigil sila. And this is a breather for yeah. Baste as Bio commits the service error. Yes. So 9 to 10, dikitan pa rin tayo. It will be Vaughn. Hindi makulangan. Serving. Rookie setter. Neto ni Coach Roger Kurayev. Transfer from Vecto in UE. Pagkalapit lang yung school. Pagkalapit lang. Tumawid lang siya. Sagsakay lang. Puzon. Ito naman. Mababa. Para kay Hiromi Osada. Hindi siya nakapag-approach ng... Yeah. I think the only talun niya. Or were they. The, she was too near the net. Yung pag talun niya malapit siya sa net. So yung bola, parang kapantay niya lang. Uh -huh. Off yung kanyang talon. Yeah, off yung timing ng talon. Tama. Ati siya. She saves it. Who's on with a push? Here's the back set. They go to Jonah. Ah, Dolorito. Yeah. Flick of the wrist for Jonah Dolorito. Very simple and easy for her. Pero may power. Meron. Look this. And you can see yung gap talaga in between the blockers. Kaya ang sinasabi lagi ng coaches natin eh, dapat ang utility pinapantayan na or ang opposite attacker pinapantayan na yung opener mm. pagka ba-block. Para sarado. Yes. Oof. Good attack from Kat. Pero nakukuha ng LPU yung mga atake ni Kat. But Jonah... Commits the attack error. That time, a little too much juice. Yeah. Ino over niya na lang yung bola, uh, pero hindi niya na control yung power. Mm. Talagang malakas, malakas to. Malakas eh. Oh. <laughs> Kahit pinitik niya, no? Malakas pa rin. 
So Kat Santos, tabla ulit tayo, 11 all, three points so far for Kat. She's been struggling with her attacks today. Osada is activated by Puzon. One on one sila eh. Yun pala yung ina-attempt nilang gawin yes. kanina. Ang ganda ng angle niya, you know, straight down. And napaganda pa dahil tumama sa kamay eh, ng kanyang blocker. Hiro Osada. Jonah Dolorito. You see her numbers there. Ocho puntos. Ah, nice serve. Here comes LPU. Who's on to the Guna? Popped up by Blue Guzman. Back row hit for Dolorito. Wow, good target. Medyo nagkatinginan ng sikat. Tanto ka nilang ni Vero si Lazarte. Who will get that ball? Parang nagtinginan na lang sila eh. Jonah from the pipe that time around. 13, serving 11 now. And it's a Jonah Dolorito at the service line. Service header. On LPU. Medyo mababa yung release. Nilalapit niya kasi yung serve niya sa net. Mm. Sa top of the net. Kasi mas may hirap receiving lang. niya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Medyo sumobra lang ng konti. So, KJ Jonisho, who has had a couple of aces in this match. Oh! Osada again! You can see the difference pag nakukuha niya yung magandang uh, yung set na gusto niya eh. Look at this. This is Hiromi, yeah. Hiromi Osada. You can see the difference. Nice serve. Now she'll be coming from the back. Marasigan off speed. Nice. Pero niya touch din. Ang tinawag dito sa LPU. How about this? Off speed hit. Sinong tumama sa net? I believe that was Pio. Pio. Who's on? Oh, Jaja Tulang. Outsmarting the blockers. Si Tulang, quiet lang siya. You know, pero steady presence sa kanilang team. Bababa na, biglang tritang, tinip. And ang mali pa doon, inabot din ng blocker. Oo, inabot ka. Tinotch na talaga yung ball. Santos. Oh, Guzman. Too strong on the dig, regalo. Para kay Amakatan. Yes, Stan, just tipping it over. Para simple point lang daw. Hindi na kailangan ng fancy na powerful spike. Same point lang naman daw. Same point. 14-15. So it's still close. Tina Marasigan oh, with a nice serve. Better pick up from Dolorito. Tokuna explodes. But she was checked. They go to the back row. Tina Marasigan. Wow. Taking care of the single coverage. Marasigan with that point. Napaganda pa na tumama sa kamay ni Bio. Uh, yeah. Ito, And wala sa likod. The good na paatras pa lang for the dig was not expecting na papunta agad sa kanyang bola. So that's why, sabi nga ni Coach Cromwell, hindi pwedeng nonchalant. Oh, Kailangan pwede. galaw na galaw, may energy. Kasi mas kaya mong kunin yung mga ganun eh. Oh, pero si Duguna, sabi niya, okay, baawi agad ako. <laughs> LPU first to our second technical timeout. We'll be back after this. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Balik sa ating laban. Nauna kanina. Ang San Sebastian sa ating first technical timeout. Now LPU overtaking them 16 to 15. And we're still inside the second technical timeout here. But it remains close. So in set number one, if you guys remember, dito sa puntong to ng laro, kumalas o bumitaw ang San Sebastian. So we'll see if the same thing happens 
and LPU creates a run after the break. Joan Duguna to serve. She's become such an efficient scorer here in the league and an efficient server as well. That bounced off the net. Who's on? Pio. Pio scores. Pio once again with that power, power tip. Look at this. Heart, Pio. Sabi ni Anjo Bertiera, queen of tips daw yung tawag niya sa kanya. Why not? She's been so effective in that attack. Oh. Underhand, transition ball. Who's on? One, two. Nayangat. Santos on the line, looking for a check. Not given. That was too wide for Santos. You know, you can see, hindi pa na, hindi niya pa nakukuha yung blue niya in today's game. We Just haven't been hearing her name as much. Yeah. It's puro, ano, tayo today eh. Puro marasigan. Marasigan, yeah. So, time out by Ste. Coach Roger. Edgar's yung net, papunta dito. Dahil yung receive nyo, ganda rito lang. Diba? Kabulin niyo yung bola. Itaas yung bola, dalin niyo doon sa unahan. For this one, Santos, Tina. Okay. So, yeah, same thing is happening to San Sebastian. And you see the frustration of Coach Roger. Dahil, yan ay kanina pa niyang ina-address. Dito sa team na ito. And now it's a three-point lead. For LPU, two straight after the second technical timeout. At Santos is replaced. She is on the bench right now. Pinalitan siya nito ni Lumiba, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, miscommunication. A chance for LPU. Jonah Dolorito. Dolorito taking advantage of that confusion. Talagang diniin niya na late yung kanyang middle blocker. You know what? This is tasty. Sabi niya ganun. Can't leave her alone. Can't be too late if it's Jonah who is attacking. Joa naman mula sa likod para sa LPU. Here's the setup. Gonzalez. Dolorito from the pipe. Not this time. Di makulangan. Tumarang si Dan. Masyadong mababa. This is becoming a replay of the first set. It's the exact duplicate of the first set. LPU establishing their biggest lead of the set so far, 20 to 15. Ah, dito na si Joan Duguna. Nakatambay sa service line. Pero, as I say that, yeah. five to nothing run ended with that service error. You can see her smiling and <laughs> saying sorry to her teammates. Pero, ayun na nga. Kailangan i-adjust na naman itong lady tag sa kanilang spikes. Nag-i-error na naman, not over ang kanilang favorite na error sa attack. Dolorito off the block, popped up by Jaika Lopez. Laguna from the back, nakaabang si Tan. Here comes Gonzalez. Power push, pinuhay pa ng LPU. There's a chance ball though for Basta. KJ converts. That's good. Talaga makita mo yung depensa ng... Lady Pirates, medyo malayo dun sa, sa likod eh. Yeah. Kaya hindi nila naabot ng pag-touch ng pagpalo, pag-touch ng sa blocker nila. Andito lang sa attack line yeah. and nobody was there. Great save though from Jaja Tulang. Good effort. Uf, tumama sa kaliwang uh, kamay ni Ateni Tulang. Another chance ball for Baste. Oh, oh that one was too low as well. Yun ang nakakapanghinaya, Cheska. That was a great receive. That was a good set. Kaso talagang nanggigil eh. At babalasan ng tao si Coach Cromwell. Stacey Lopez coming in for Hart Bio. First entry for Lopez in this match. There you go. Tulumibaw. Picked up, who's on tracking it down. Too strong for Toguna. 
That was too long, pero makikita mo, ready-ready lagi si Dugo nang pumalo. Mm. Kargado pa rin yun para kay Joanne. But San Sebastian oh, is down by three. Oh! oh service ace. It's First ace. one from Von Di Makulangan. That was good. That was a good serve. And much needed by their team. Yeah. The rookie playmaker with a big ace. And San Sebastian is trying to chip away. <laughs> Difficult first ball. Dolorito. And here comes San Sebastian. Oh, combination. Another net error. Not over, Anna. Not, not over, pa din. One for the And that many chances. I think Masada is a little excited. They also had a great sequence. Combination play that, but I'm going to have to go to Roger. Papalukan na tober kay Jay. Papalukan ng patong na tober. Paano tayo i-score? Paano tataas yung confidence level ninyo? Puro na tober yung pinapalo ninyo. Iba sabi ko sa inyo, magpa-block na kayo. May copyright. Pag na tober, wala tayong kadaban lapan. Pinapatay ng sasalitan. Yes! Tapos kayo. Single block. Single block. Bakit hinayaan ganun? Exacto. Mm -hmm. uh, yung sinabi doon ni Coach Roger, puro not over yung mga atake ng San Sebastian. It happens in the latter part of the set kasi ang ganda lagi ng simula nila. Yeah. And Coach Roger reminding them na mas okay na magpa-block kayo because we have coverage uh -huh. kesa not over yung gagawin ninyo. Wala tayong laban. Yeah. Tapos na yung play nun pag ganun. Oh! oh! Yun yung block. KJ yeah. Dionisio. <laughs> Getting a hand on that one. That was a double oh. set. That was a double from their libero. Let's check this one out. This was a good combination play. That was well read by Dionisio. 20-22. Mm. Too strong. That Crucial so for Martinez. Yeah. The pagka out niya. 23-20, LPU a couple of points away from taking a two sets to none lead. Dolorito, good serve. Wow, Sigan, yeah, check out yes. for Tina. Tina Marasigan! Hindi pwedeng single block lang para kay Marasigan. Because she will get that point. Yeah. Made it simple as well. Na late. Yeah. Late na siya. Na touch niya palawas. 21-23. Who's on? Chosen Duguna. Ah, oh, Joan Duguna. Sending up here you back at set point situation. Duguna's spike was too much for the receiver. Again, in these types of situations, ang pinupuntahan ni Puzon. Itong si Duguna. Siyempre, kung ako ang setter, puporsyento din ako. Yeah. I want to win as fast as possible with as less uh, sets as possible. Martina Marasigan saves one set point for San Sebastian. Marasigan doing the work for the Lady Stags. Humihinga pa sila dito. Let's see. Kung hanggang kailan sila makakakapit sa set number two, Juna Gonzalez will start things up. Better pass. Duguna! Oh! Ending set number two. Duguna saying enough. Yeah. A power hit through the blockers. And set number two, 25-22 in favor of LPU, they now have a commanding lead in the match. We'll be back after this. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando.
Matapos po yan, ang matagumpay niyang performance sa Women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapo atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lindia sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222kg. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris. Balik sa ating laban, it is a commanding. Two sets to the lead for the LPU Lady Pirates, winning set number 225-22. Good to have you with us here, Martin Oguer, with Cheska Rakrakin and Mickey Santos at courtside Cheska. Halos kapareho nung nangyari sa set number one natin. Dito lang, nakadikit ng konti ang San Sebastian, bandang dulo, but ultimately, set still went LPU's way. Yes, hindi na naman na-adjustan ng Lady Stags yung kanilang knockover. Um, yun yung pinaka marami nilang airs eh. It's themselves. Talaga yung players mismo, even Coach Roger, super frustrated na, you know, patama nyo na lang sa blockers instead of pinapalo nyo straight to the net. Kasi at least pag may blockers, we have a coverage, may laban tayo. And we haven't seen an adjustment pagdating doon. Also, Kat Santos, we need to see more from her. Yeah. She's been shaky in this match. Oh, okay. 18 attacks for the LPU Lady Pirates. That, that completely covers up their 13 errors in that particular set. San Sebastian, just not enough firepower. Eight attacks, pero, you know, they've had great sequences in this match. Karamihan lang talaga dun, nag-error. Yes, pero most of their points this set is from the errors din, ng kanilang kalaban. Oh, so far, ito yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina, Cheska, three points pa lang itong si Kat Santos struggling in today's uh, game. Bounce back season. Got a good start against Mapua. She scored 12 points. Pero dito, she's been getting the sets from Dimakulangan. May, may halong gigi lang talaga yung mga atake niya ngayong araw na to. Yes. Uh, I'm, so, I'm frustrated for her yeah. as well. Because kung ikaw yung ina-expect ng team nyo, ikaw yung, they look up to you, and ikaw, ikaw din sa sarili mo, you put so much pressure yeah. and wala kang pinuproduce na points, it's gonna be hard for you. Yeah. And that touch on LPU, also a better attempt for Kat Santos. Yes, kung hindi nag-error sa net, hindi na touch yung net, maybe that was her point. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kat Santos now yeah. is set to the service line. Three points today, we know she's Capable of more. Yes. Oh, good jump serve. Puzo got her pass as well. Osada popped up by Lazarte. Here comes Marasigan. Ah, what a dive from Beguna. Ball is still up. Marasigan sent back. That was, I think, Osada who got, who guided that ball to the other side. Yeah. Osada, not the tallest of middle blockers, pero magaling siyang tumayme. The ball, so bumalik yung set, ay bumalik yung spike. The problem is yung kanilang reception or yeah. kanilang coverage, medyo all around the place. Ito LPU, they have versatility mm -hmm. in their front line, ano? As we take a look at that push from Juna Gonzalez, that's another mm -hmm. error on San Sebastian. Kasi kawari wala si Hart Bio. Ang tumatao sa gitna nila, itong si Osada, at saka si Tulang, who is also used to being a middle blocker, as we see the numbers from Joan Duguna today. Eight points. Tatagdagan pa po yan. Maya-maya ni Joan Duguna. She's not That's yet right. done, obviously. Heavy artillery. And doing it in an efficient way as well. No. Good shot from Marasigan. That was a good target from Marasigan. You know, seeing yung zone six, walang tao. Pinapspin sa ibabaw ng blockers. Yeah. Palitan ng playmaker tayo. 
It is Adia coming in for Dimaculangan. So, Coach Roger wants a, a different type of playmaking here for Baste. Who's on? Sending it to Duguna, who is forced to push it with her left hand. Back row hit. Easy up for Puzon. Tulang. Yeah, that's a point for Jaja Tulang. Yes, that was a point for her. For, for her. Pa outside na, outside. inabot yung bola nito ni Gonzalez. Duma, please, ano? She reached for the ball. Yeah. And ang sabi lagi, you know, ang, basta, ang basihan natin dyan, if you're in the back line, mm. nandun ka na sa end line, if mas mataas pa sa shoulder mo, uh -huh. outside na yan. Uh -huh. Yeah. Miss Red. Ooh, Bijo with a single coverage. <laughs> Duguna. Oh! Alright, still alive. Itatawit. Buhay pa. <laughs> Who's on? Bijo. Lazarte with the pickup. Here's the setup. Maasigan. Colorito was at the back. Duguna angling it. No. Who's on? They go back to Juan. What a rally here. Tina Marasigan scores. Oh, wow, Marasigan. Continues to score for the Lady Stags. Bumubuhay siya sa Lady Stags eh. Yeah. So Marasigan again clearly is the go-to player of San Sebastian. Martinez will be serving now. This is Bridget and Martinez. Lopez, good first ball. Ah, oh, Joan Duguna. Joan Duguna! Kailangan niya daw bumawi. Ah, okay. And you can see dun sa sequence na yun. She targeted down the line. Sino mas maliit na blocker, of course. Yeah. I like John Duguna because bihira lang talaga ang hindi pumasok yung mga atake niya. Lagi maganda discard niya. Yeah. And you'll notice she's not the tallest player. She's very smart. Very smart. Very athletic. Tina Marasigan right there. That not over. A, yeah. yeah. Not over. Kailangan to pick up nila right away. You know, change that. Uh, Kalimutan na nila. Uh, move forward. Hindi sila pwedeng mas stuck. Yeah. Five to three. Dahil tong LPU. Nagsisimula na naman bumulusok. Oh, oh rotation error. Sa San Sebastian. Wow. Things are starting to fall apart for Baste. Yes. That's one of the worst errors you can make. Kasi parang kapag nag-error ka ng rotation error, it's like, hindi nyo na iniisip kung saan nakapwestong isa't isa eh. Yeah. Libreng, libreng point yun para sa LPO. Ito, pinawi agad. Ah, hindi. Hindi pala pinawi. Pinag Services. Yeah. Pinagpatuloy pala ni Jaja Tulang. Again, Tulang this season is a silent operator. Di ba? Tahimik lang yan, pero nakukuha niya yung mga numero niya. And just like that, that was a 4-0 run by Lyceum, Lady Pirates. Again, this is a very solid LPU team. It looks like the experience they gained from the finals in Season 98, ang laking bagay talaga, laking angat ng laro nila. Yeah. And as I said, that medyo nabate. Okay. <laughs> Nag-touch net oh, so the run si Bio. Heart Bio. The run ends at four for LPU. Super cute ng name. Talagang sinadya ng parents eh. Heart Bio. Heart Bio. Oh, no. Ah. Alam niyang matitelevise ang anak niya. Pero ito, service ace unleashed by Marasigan. Her 13th point of the match comes from the service area. She's been repeating her name nonstop during this match and she's going to continue in this third set. Much needed for Baste. Another jump serve. Better pick up this time from Lopez. Uh, Duguna. That one is too strong. Wow, that was an error for Duguna. I know, I noticed that today. Mm -hmm. Medyo mahaba lahat ng pinapalo ni Duguna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's more than usual. Yeah. Kahit, yeah. Mapa cross court, kahit yung mga DTL hits niya, down the line hits niya, Targeting the long ball to. Ito si Duguna. Ito, tingnan natin. Mahaba ulit, pero ito pasok. Yes. <laughs> Nag-adjust siya. Sabi niya, wait ka lang, Cheska. <laughs> I'll adjust, okay? First technical timeout. LPU is first here. On the other side, we'll hear it from Mickey Santos.
bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz. All hearts for heart. Isa na nga sa mga nagpakilalang rookie last dog game. And for this game, is none other than their middle blogger of the LPU Lady Pirates na si Heart Pio. Heart told me that she did not expect at all to be a part of the starting lineup. Dahil, pinabawalang pasabi si coach na pa is this real pa nga daw siya since hindi nga niya inakala na siya ang magiging isa sa mga magsisimula ng laro. During their warm-up, tinanong lang daw siya ni coach kung ano ang jersey number niya. And little did she know that she is about to start in her de debut game here in NCAA. And as Bia says, sabi lang sa akin ni Coach, magtiwala lang daw ako sa aking sarili at sa kanya. At thank you Lord daw, at maganda ang kinalabasan ng laro. As for Coach Bromel, tinanong ko bakit niya ba nakadesisyon na na ipasok si Hart. Ang sabi niya, may nakita daw siyang something sa player na ito during their practice. He added that Hart's playing style fits well with the system of the Lady Pirates. So tingin niyo ba Martin and Jessica, ano kaya yung something na yun? Back to you. Ako, kailangan natin itanong yan kay Coach Cromwell. Pero yung something na yun, nagbunga, no? Yes. And that something, I believe, is yung composure. Yeah. And yung height. And yung height. And her efficiency as well yes. with the tips. And for somebody who's not prepared, she's playing very well. That's right. That's right. 11 points in that debut Nikki was talking about. But LPU, courtesy of that attack by... Joe and Duguna. Duguna targeting zone one. And you receiver doon, not prepared. Again, one of the best scorers in the league, Joan Duguna. Another spectacular performance here. Hart Bio. Yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina at the service line. Hindi prepared. Hindi prepared. Ayan, okay lang. Hindi <laughs> ka prepared. Hindi <laughs> masyado. Yes. Sa serve na yun. Medyo napalakas ng konti. But that's a luxury for yeah. Coach Chrome. I mentioned earlier, ang wala itong LPU against Benio last season was clearly the height. Diba? Hart B.U. instantly gives that to this lineup as she stands 5'11". Yes. And yung mga smart play niya, smart yes. steps niya, might work. Yeah. Ooh, Kat Santos! Oh, there you go. That's the Kat Santos that we know. Santos with distance from the net. Mm -hmm. Targeting Puzon. You know? Talagang, siyempre, you're gonna target the smaller, smaller. blocker. Yeah. And you can see the results. Yeah. Ang lakas ng palo. Oh, Adia commits the service error. That's not what you want. Yes. Especially if you're trying to climb back in this one. That's Adia committing it. One point lead. Yes, and it instantly stops their run. Yeah. Tapos si Venice pa yung magsaserve. Ayan, good pick up though. Santos from the other side. God, Santos is starting to hum for Baste. Yes, ang sabi ni Kat Santos, ang dami ko pang energy. Nagugulat siya, but ang dami niya pang energy. So, pinubuhos niya na in this set because kailangan na. Going down the line that time. Santos with a jump serve here. Lopez, and a uh, quick attack for Osada. I didn't see much of that that quick attack from Osada in their first match. Parang ito yung sinubukan ni ni Coach Cromwell. Yeah, you can see she's effective. Basta nakapag-approach siya ng maayos. Yeah. She gets that momentum to to jump, you know? Uh, Kasi she's not the tallest middle blocker. That's right. One of the... Four players, nanggaling naman sa FEU, lumipat sa LPU. Pero si Kat Santos, <laughs> hindi pa rin mapigilan po. Point four, six, six, Eleven all, Kat Santos. She's on a roll. Touch net, a touch. Yeah. That was a touch, a touch. from the oh, blocker. Yeah. It was Osada. Kat Santos getting her groove and I'm here for it. Yeah, let's go. It's game on here between LPU and San Sebastian. Oh, it's a lang. Yep. Jack Jatulan connecting the silent operator for LPU. Yes. And then si Kat Santos medyo nahuli lang ng konti ng dial. Hiro Osada now serving. So Hiromi Osada is back. 
to serve. Mm. <laughs> Difficult pickup. This results to a free ball. LPU on the attack. Pio. Nabasa. They go to Tukuna. Picked up by Santos. Adia. Underhand set up for Marasigan. Pinalik ni Osada. Here comes Tukuna again. The blockers are there. But she still scores. Laguna getting that point from that long rally. Alam mo, ito yung medyo cool. Oh. Um, yung pag tumama, nag-cut ball na sa kanilang blockers dito sa Lady Stags. You're not able to get that ball pag sa behind lang ng blockers yeah. nila. Mabagal yung response. Yes. Nung uh, second liners nila. Martinez who's on to the middle. Cat keeps it up. It's a free ball again for LPU. Jaja Tulang putting it down. Wow, that was powerful from Tulang. And you can see the like, simple, simple like movement, simple approach. Yep. That's why it's hard yes. to beat LPU this season. Na at sa gitna ng kanyang blockers yeah. in between two blockers. Yeah. They have so much firepower. Ah, oh, good attack. For Amakatan. That's much better execution for the Lady Stacks. Yes. And she just needs more opportunity. Kailangan lang bigan lang bigan ng, ng setter. Bigitan tayo. Toguna. Oh, <laughs> off the block for Joanne. 15 to 12. LPU is looking good. Time to go. 2 0 in season 99. Itong LPU Lady Pirates. Siempre, single round robin lang tayo. So, importante makapuhunan ka. Marasigan. Went for the angle. Marasigan is able to score. Marasigan again, as expected of her. Yeah. But that was a difficult attempt because she was very deep on this side. Yes, and you can see, dun mo makikita yung athleticism ni yeah. Marasigan because she made it work. Yeah. And now Tina will be coming from the service line, bouncing it off the net unintentionally. Here's Doguna down the line for Joan Doguna. And that leads us to our second technical time uh, with the Lady Pirates ahead by three. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangan puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasama ng Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NC... Palik sa ating laban, Joan Toguna. Had 8 points earlier, now she is up to 13 points. All of attacks. Mula dito kay Joan Toguna. Back-to-back -back games. She is in double figures. 17 in the previous one. 13 in this one. And she serves. Santos! Wow! Fires a missile right there. Kat Santos na buhay na sa wakas. You know, narinig niya ata yung prayers natin. <laughs> na nami miss natin yung uh -huh. mga ganyang attacks niya. Now, this is the Kat Santos that we know. And it's about time. Started the set with only three points. And she has had a lot more after that. Dolorito. The defense by Tan is Santos pushing it. Oh! oh! Santos! Santos with Me, the point. Yeah, major free ball na, but yeah. nagkaran ng confusion. Itong si Dolorito ay ng kanilang, si Lopez ang kanilang libero. And nobody was there. Oh. Nobody. Yeah, confusion. Pick it out. Wala nagmain. Adirin umabot. 
Back to back points for Santos. Toguna from the back yeah. row. Wow, error yeah, that MPU. That she stepped over the line. So, 16 all. San Sebastian showing us that they have some fight in them here. Kumakapit ang baste. Hmm, ginawa na lang ng paraan si Dolorito. Ah, hindi na sila nagpapaiwan this set. Ah. Santos is denied. One more time for Kat. Pumalik pa rin! Fantastic job by the blockers of LPU. That was a good target for Kat. Yeah. But, naabot pa rin ang blocker. This is Martin yeah. getting the kill block. Now, she was supposed to, supposed to be the ano, starting <laughs> middle blocker ni Coach Cromwell. She usually yung uh, starter nito ni Coach Crom. Oh! It is returned. Oh. Santos. Play continues. Dolorito! Oh, what a dig by Marasigan. They go back to Kat. Nakailangan ng Madlib. Who's on tracking it down? Dolorito naman ang Madlib dun. Here's Santos. Play continues. Who's on? Oh! Wow! Oh. Inside for Hiromi Osada. Yeah. Martinez just watching that ball go through her. Yeah. She thought it was outside. Yeah. Misread by Martinez. So meek na leche. Oh, so mismo. So mismo. All right. 18 16, two straight for LPU. This is crucial. Santos, two-handed push. Who's on? Underhand setup. Pinohay ni Marasigan. Here's Kat again. Better approach. Wow. And it results to a point for Kat Santos. Another bomb from Kat Santos. Yeah. This, this is Kat Santos in her top form. Ito na yung kilala natin na Kat. So, Marian mm -hmm. Adia to serve. 17-18. Oh, Sada. Lazarte was ready. Santos will try. And she will score again. Once yeah. again, through Santos. the hands of Puzon. Santos is having <laughs> a field day. A field day. And one of those sets na talagang in the zone siya. Kasi mga frustrate na rin dito si Puzon eh. Parang sa akin lang niya pinapadaan. Yeah. Dolorito, wow! Powers it through. Jonah gets one back for the Lady Pirates. Stop stopping that run. So Venice Puzon to serve. Always a threat from the service line. Dito mo yung pinahirapan yung first ball. Marasigan! Puts it in! Wow. Ang ganda ng spin sa bola na yun. Talagang pag-cross ng net, bumaba. Oh my! That looked like a broken play for the Lady Stags. That was a good target. That was supposed to be two lang. Yeah. But, That's true. hindi na kinuha ni Tulang. Pinareceive niya na sa backline. Oh. Ooh! Wow. Oh, it's inside. Kat Santos now with 12 points in the match. Nine here in the third set. And San Sebastian overtakes 20 to 19. Pakinggan natin si Coach Cromwell. One good pass, then attack a hero, Bilisan Muha. Coach Cromwell Garcia. Yes. In Simple. serious mode. Simple instructions. Uh -huh. Gusto lang niyang patayin at pigilan ang momentum ng San Sebastian. Yeah, Santos has been unstoppable in this set. Nine points in set number three for a total of 12. Tagdagan mo pa ng service ace. Good serve again. This time Puzon tracks it down. Oh, it is a rejection from the Lady Stags. Juna Gonzalez getting the kill block. 
That was a solid block by Gonzalez. 21-19. San Sebastian threatening to take one set here. Wow, Kat has been serving heavy. Ah, quick attack for Osada. Nagawa ng Lady Pirates ang instructions ni Coach Cromwell. So, first ball tayo. Osada, bilisan mo ang pasok. I think numero ni Kat Santos today, 13 points. Making the 10 points in the set. In the set. Started the set with only three. Kat Santos. Now in her groove. Adia. Ah, Juna Gonzalez. Wow. <laughs> yung kill block na yun started everything for her. Umangat yung kumpiyansa. Yes, talagang pinalo niya ng malakas. Tumama sa kamay ng blockers at lumipad palabas ng court. Now she'll be coming from the back. Can San Sebastian close it out though? We'll see. Kilala natin itong LPU team na to. Can't count them out just yet. KJ. Gonzalez over to Marasigan. Popped up by Dolorito. Here comes LPU. Daguna. Off the block finish for Juan. 21-22. That was a good block. Pero maganda lang talaga yung pag-anggel ng palo ni Daguna. Yeah. That's why he went out kahit na na-block nila. An exciting third set we are watching here. Mm. Ah, difficult first ball for Lazarte. Marasiga na abangan. She'll try again. Better attempt, easy pick up. Oh! Cross. LPU commits the error. Crucial, crucial error committed by LPU. Yes, and now the Lady Stags are just two points away yeah. from taking this set and extending KJ this match. And they close it out. KJ will start. Lopez with a good pass. Martin deflected. Santos from the pipe. Lopez was there again. Toguna will try. Ah, oh, Santos with a counter dig. Marasigan. Lopez tracking it down. Toguna tries again. Santos was there again. Marasigan off the ball. Bumalik sa side ng San Sebastian. Santos. Kanta ng defense ni Lopez. Dolorito. Long rally here. Tina Marasigan oh! puts it down. Oh! It is set point. For San Sebastian. Marasiga targeting zone six. It's like between two players and gets that point. It's Cromwell triggers a timeout. Okay. One stop tayo after nating mga stop. Service natin. Naintindihan. Tas tulong tayo sa defensa. Okay, wala nang tawag, laban lahat ng bola, laban. Alam natin kung gaano kalaki ang tiwala ni Coach Cromwell sa mga players niya, but you know, this is a yes. testy situation for the Lady Pirates. Yes, and that was less instructions to his players. More parang mas ano eh, he took that or he asked for a timeout para pigilan lang yung momentum yeah. ng San Sebastian Lady Stags. But KJ was not frozen. Toguna. Oh, too strong. Too strong. <laughs> and San Sebastian stays alive in the match. They win set number 325-21. Okay. So LPU still leads it two sets to one, but San Sebastian forces the extension. We'll be back after a quick break. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasama ng Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. 
Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 9... We're back to our coverage. NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Competition inside the Philoil Equal Center. Laban po ng LPU contra San Sebastian. Basta, taking one set. Set number three. The final was 25-21. Nakita natin yung kapit dito sa San Sebastian because we thought initially, Cheska, LPU was actually yeah. creating a, a bigger separation in the middle of that set. But San Sebastian, Lumaban, Pumapet, they stayed consistent. They took that set away from LPU. And that's because the buhay na po is si Gat Santos. Santos. That's right. It's her points that we were been, that um, the Lady Stags have been missing yeah. this entire match. And she gave that points nitong last set lang. So, pero inyo yun, for first two sets, three points lang three points. siya. And then, pagdating ng third set, 13 points 13 or points. more, yeah. actually, na siya. You can see how much of a difference that was and how big of impact that was for her team na talagang nakuha nila to tong, uh, set na ito at na-extend yung match natin. That was the Cat Santos set. Kita mo naman, lumobo yung attack points neto nga San Sebastian. And it's no coincidence that Kat got most of her points in set three. Yes. And you can see, mas mata sila sa attacks. This set, they have aces, more aces, and less errors. Yeah. Only four errors ang binigay nila this set. And sana makontinue nila yan and extend pa nila this, this uh, ma-extend pa nila itong match na to into a fifth setter. So, ito si Joan Duguna, leading scorer today. 15 points after a 17-point performance in the previous contest. Mandadagdagan pa po yan here in this fourth set. On the other side, Kat Santos with 13 markers so far. 12 off attacks, one ace, which happened earlier in set number three. All right. Good to have you with us. Martin Javier with Cheska Rakrakin and Mickey Santos at court side. Taking care of this match between LPU and San Sebastian, we start with a swipe out from yes. Jonah Dolorito. Dolorito keeping it simple, seeing na masyadong malapit yung set sa net. Huh. So it's, she just swipes it sa kamay ng blockers. So Venice Puzon will start to serve. Kasabihin ko dapat always a threat. But that time, it is too strong. It went long. Talagang mahaba yung target niya. Well, she had a good target, yeah. which is yung zone 5. Sumobra na ng hot. Bihira mangyari yan kay Venice Puzon. Santos. That bounced off the net. And bounced din yun sa net. Underhand set up to the back. Wow! Osada with a single block. LPU looking to take advantage. Down the line for Jaja Tuna. Wow! It started with a good read by Osada in that block. It's Kat Santos. And pagbalik, down the line. It has to feel good for Hiromi Osada. Imagine single block. Ang lakas pa nung palo ni Kat Santos dun. One-handed setup. Ah, oh, nice save. Doguna. Popped up by Santos. Marasigan <laughs> scores. Gina Marasigan! Marasigan once again targeting zone 6. Kanina pa siya nakakapunta sa zone 6. Yes. Ha? And para tayong nasa showdown ng open strike. Oo oh, nga. <laughs> Tulang. Dolorito, Doguna for it. Sa kabila, Santos, Marasigan. Who's on? Over to Duguna. Naabangan ni Kat. Oh, he's shown by Kat. Oh! Banggaan dun. Ito si Dimakulangan at Marasigan. LPU looking to take advantage. Oh! Wala na. This is gone. LPU takes the lead 3-2. to two. Courtesy of this attack by Hiro Osada. Osada targeting long. May mali yung pagtawa sa kamay ni Marasigan eh. Parang nag touch lang sa ah. kamay niya and then continued moving backwards. That's right. Fantastic game today for Hiro Osada. Here's. Oof! Baba. Para kay KJ Dionisio. 
goes straight to the net. You know, San Sebastian needs to keep it simple. Yeah. First ball, and then Four, attack. Yeah. That's true. Na solution na nila yung yes. uh, attack errors kanina. Santos from the back. Oh, this one is too strong. That was too strong. And if that was, if I was their team, ba? Mas ko gusto yung kung setan yung front line attack. Mm. Because they're near sa net. Yeah. And I, I believe that the Makulangan can do that. Yeah. It's just that Mali yung naging decision na she gave it to Pat Santos. So, pinigay niya kay Marasigan. That one was deflected. Joan Daguna. Santos keeps it up. Marasigan again. Who's on? Oh, what an underhand set by Venice. They go to Amakatan. That's too low for her. Daguna. Ball is still in play. Marasigan scores. <laughs> Sina Marasiga! Marasiga off the block. You know, that was a very long rally. Yeah. <laughs> Bali can die dito. We've seen some creative spikes by our players. Like the bending ng iba. The bending. Kaya mga setter natin. Yes. Yung pagtakbo, di ba? Napagod na yung mga setter natin. Oh, it's a service ace. Yes. For KJ Janisho. I think this is her second or third ace of the match. Yep, targeting the libero. Here's Tulang. Oh, Santos was right there. Tina, straight to Dolorito. Tabuna, oh, denied. Back row, oh, perfect placing. My yes. Jonah Dolorito. Pero you can see, pinitawan ng libero ng Lady Stags. Pinitawan ni, ni Lazarte yung bola, expecting Kat to get it. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm amazed by these underhand reverse sets <laughs> <Yeah>. by <laughs> Puzon. Controlled eh. Oh. Oh, okay. second. <laughs> Rotation error on San Sebastian. Point for the Lady Pirates. 3B point na naman. Yes. Para sa I, LPU. I think ang confusion is Seven, yung position ng libero. Oo. Uh -huh. So, 7 serving 4. Ah, makatan. Ang baba ulit nun. Taguna! Got the check. But it sails out. Taguna! John Taguna. Sending us to our first technical timeout. On the other side, it's Miki Santos with her report. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category. Here is season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Pakinggan naman natin ang hinainin dalawang kumpunan. Dahil para kay Coach Romwell, he urges his players to finish the set quickly. Namang nangarap sila, kaya huwag na nilang pahirapan ang kanilang mga sarili. Para naman kay Coach Roger, he told his setter to trust on his players. Dahil lahat daw ay dapat bigyan ng chance. Ha? Tiwala ang payo naman ni Coach Le. Lesson on the outsides and give the quicks a chance. At tila ba pinagtataka niya? Pwede naman daw silang lumamang. Pero bakit hindi nila magawa? Coach Roger also urges his players na lumamang. Pero... And also, Coach Roger urges his players to reflect on their performance. Dahil hindi raw ganyan na pinapakita ng mga malalaro na gustong manalo. It definitely all boils down to who wants it more. Am I right, Martin and Chaska? Yeah. Uh, I think they were able to address that in uh, set number three. You know, when they were able to put themselves together and finish that set with a win. 25-21 for Coach Cromwell. Masunurin yung players ni Coach Masunurin. Cromwell. And uh, now, they're trying to finish this, quick, uh, this set as quickly as possible. And you can see, kakatapos lang ng palo ni Duguna. They, they want this. They yeah. want this so badly and they want it 
to, they want to win it as quickly as possible. So, Chess, pinalitan na si Dimakulangan dito ni Adya, who has been playing well. Oh, and we, as we say that, that's a perfect set by Adya to Santos. Yes. So it feels also, Chess, that you know, she has better connections with her spikers. Ito si Adya. Exactly. And you can see she's yung setter nila when they won the last set. Yeah. That's why we're just going to play pareho that they replaced her yeah. in the in the fourth set. But now she's back, and mm. they're getting the points back to back. Wow! <laughs> Cannot put just one person in front of Kat Santos. Na delay yung closeout <laughs> doni Martin. And again, that was in the hands of Puzon. Yeah, favorite talaga ni Kat. No? <laughs> Oh, that's a good serve. Saved by Tulang. And Goguna, and she scores. You know, that was a good target by Duguna, but here on the side of the Lady Sags, kinulang sa step. Uh, na una nang nag dive. Si KJ, right? Na? Yes. Kung may isang step siya dun, mas maayos yung. Yes. Because as much as possible, you want to dig the ball. Nang nakatay tayo. Yeah. Kasi si Kat Santos, hindi pa tapos. I think she is up to 15 or 16 points already. Talagang kuha-kuha ni Ali ang kanyang favorite set. And again, once again, to the hands of Pudon. Yeah. Santos just sees red when Pudon is in front of her. Eto ulit si Kat. Cross court ngayon. Dopes, nakabang. One, two. Not gonna work. Middle attack. Who's on? Choosing Don Orito. Ooh, too low for Jonah. Yeah. By the way, as we check out the leading scorers here, one, two punch off Paste. Si Santos, at, as we take a look at this attack error by Dolorito, straight to the antenna. Santos, Marasigan combining for 31 points. 16 for Santos, 15 for Marasigan. Oh, back to back attack errors by Jonah. Okay, as I say that, 13 points for Dolorito. Doguna with 18, also 31 points combined from those two, with two lang adding 9 points. Dalawang sunod na attack error mula kay Dolorito. You can see that they're going to live in both teams. That's their outside hitter. That's right. Oh! Oh, Sada! With a quick! Cool at the end. Yeah. That was a good attack. Wow. Oh, Sada with 10 points today. And in very quick, she's the one who's going to go. In her previous game, she had 8 points. So she's already topped her performance. Oh, Jonah goes too strong. It was her third error. Yeah. In a row. Yeah, that's right. 11 all in Fair. set number. Yeah. Four. Still, hindi siya papalitan ni Coach Cromwell. No. Trust lang, itong yeah. si Coach Cromwell. Kay Jonah Dolorito. Cut with a jump serve. Mm. Lopez, what a reception oh, and a rejection for Paste. They overtake 12 to 11 here. Janisha saying, Kanina, nakapalu ka na wok na. That's enough. Wow. KJ denying Osada. Santos with 16. Oh, on the line. Her second ace of the match. Santos is really awake now. Yep. And doing the work. This is a much different approach we're seeing from Kat. Jump serve. At kahit doon sa mga atake niya, iba na yung elevation niya eh. Mm. Okay lang. Medyo nabati yeah. siya. Nabati siya dun. But you know, iba eh. Yung kanyang jump serve parang pumapalo din uh -huh. siya eh. Yeah. It's like you're receiving a front line attack. So, 12 to 13. Jonah's turn to serve. She's been struggling here in set four. Got serve right there. KJ denied. 
That was Osada and Doguna forming a wall. That was a great read. Natin to. And makikita mo yung difference. Talagang magkarik na magkarik yun. Yung middle, yung gitna ng no. ano nila, yung yung pagitan nila, yung gap nila. Yeah. So small. Magkadikit talaga sila. You know, mas mas connected sila pagdating sa block. <laughs> Too low for Juna Gonzalez. And three straight now for LPU. They're back in front. Yeah, shadow mababa. Yung atake neto ni Gonzalez. She was a little bit late dun sa approach. Mm -hmm. And that's why pagga uh, talun niya, medyo pababa na yung bola. Adia to Marasiga. Yes. Siga, Marasiga. 14 all. Marasiga once again getting a point. So Juna Gonzalez will start it up. Mm. Oh. Nice read by Jona. Difficult angle for Doguna. Free ball for LPU. Who's on? What a twist! <laughs> Tulang scores! Top spin for Tulang. Very simple. Just getting it across. And dahil to mama, sabraso ni Dioniso. Yeah. What the point? Jaja Tulang with 10 points in the match. I love the deception by Puzon. <laughs> yes. Diba? You thought she was gonna go to the middle. Adia. Oh, what a dig! Oh, what a dig by Dolorito. Adia. Ah, my God! Boy, ba? That was a great Support dig. For the ladies, sir. By Osada. Back and forth we go. That was powerful from Tan. Mm -hmm. mm. That's the right height for her. Yeah. Now serving KJ Judicial. KJ now will serve. Jonah has been receiving well. Mm. Facial, nabubuhay sa bola. As long as it's good, yeah. it's alright. Oh, oh, more emphatic hit. Binuhay pa rin KJ. 200 push. Another chance for LPU. Jonah, <laughs> easier pickup. Marasigan. Oh, Doguna with a dig. Ball is up and alive. Marasigan again. Who's on to Martin? Ah, oh, Lazarte got to it. Who's on? Back to Doguna. Bouncing it off the net. Marasigan. Oh, the block. Sanchevas John will get their 16th point. That means we go to a technical timeout. Back after this. Balik sa ating laban. 16-15 Santos with 17 points in today's match. Again, first two sets only had three. Pagkatapos nun, ibang cut Santos na. Yung nakikita natin. 15 attacks, two aces, back in her top form. This is the Santos that we were expecting to play. Bounce back season. KJ starts, pulls on, backs it, Tolang puts it down. What a wind up for Jaja. Tolang targeting the, the donut hole. Donut hole, yeah. Again, 11 Absolutely. points for Jaja Tolang. Such an underrated spiker for LPO. Underrated, kasi siyempre ang nasa harapan, Doguna and Dolorito. Yes, and compared to the two, she's more quiet, yeah. more reserved. That's right. Ah, yana. Hot Pio. 
with her unstoppable tips. Yes. Alam mo, kitang kita ko sa pag sa sa ano eh, sa stature nito ni Mi Bio. Na yung mga tips niyo, it's very powerful. Yeah. Mabigat yung Mabigat. mga tips na yun. Uh -huh. Mukha lang soft kasi tip. Yeah. Diba? When so, you look at it from afar, pero pag nandun ka sa court at kalaban mo siya, ramdam mo may power. Yes, makikita mo pumasok sa kamay eh. Pumasok sa block ni Tan. Yeah. So okay. it's, it has This power. May power She's such a force in the middle itong si Hart Bio. Para Sigan. Jump serve! Outside. Service goes outside. <laughs> Diretso kay Coach Krom. Yeah. Good receive by Coach Krom. 18-17. Yeah. <laughs> Survey for... <laughs> Alerto si Coach. Hindi yes. siya, <laughs> siya nonchalan. Siyempre <laughs> mm, <laughs> naman. Alerto. Kailangan daw, hindi, siya, hindi din siya nonchalan. nonchalan. Kasi oh. sa kanya nagaling yung instructions. <laughs> What a smash. Oh, I love it. Oh. <laughs> Heart Pio. Yeah. You can't help but root for this girl. Kasi makikita mo, hindi na siya lumalabas for the approach eh. Ando lang siya sa dikit ng net. And yung approach mo, papunta lang sa setter niya. And she's gonna dip whatever she wants. Sa likod, ay anong ginagawa mo dun sa unahan? Naliligaw ka ng landa, sineng? Hindi. Ay anong ginagawa mo dun sa unahan? Ay hindi ka naman dapat naan doon. Kanina ko pa sinasabi sa inyo, ang depensa nila nandun lahat sa dulo. Sige lang kayo ng palo ng mahaba. I-drag mo lang yan dyan sa likod ng blaka. Diba mo, walang kukuha. Ayaw niyo makinig eh. Okay, may nawawan na ito. Sabi ni Coach yeah. Roger. But yeah. Again, on-point instructions from yes. Coach Roger. Ito is... muna yung highlights ni Hart Bio. Yeah. Nakita mo, hindi na lumalabas ah. for the approach. Lando lang katabi ng setter niya. But Coach Roger was saying na yung mga palo nila, huwag nila masyadong habaan. Yeah. Oh. Wow! Counter quick! <laughs> From Amakatan. Tan, pag nabigay yung gusto niyang set, she's very little. Yep. Mabilis siyang umapproach eh. Uh -huh. Solid oh, yung palo. That's a sharp hit by Tan. We're seeing two types of quickers. Dito sa laban natin. Both effective for yeah. the team. That's right. Ito si Bio. Slight push will not work. Santos pops it in! <laughs> And Santos! That was what Coach Roger was saying. Now, huwag niyo masyadong habaan yung mga palo niyo. Uh, Try mo mag-drop ball, walang kukuha. Oh. And that's what happened. Yep. Exactly as he said. Yep. We're tied at 19 all. Pwede nga stradamo si Coach <laughs> Roger. Can predict the future. <laughs> Tara rito! At that time, Santos, brasuhan ang labanan. Jonah. Gonzalez. Ah, she scores! Jonah And San Sebastian is back in front. Wow. I believe that was a missed dig. Kasi dalawa sila nag-attempt po din yung dig. Pinahirapan nila si Puzon. May front side ka, pwede mo magpunuha, alam na alam na, alam mo ba gawin mo dyan. Art, aggressive yung atake, hindi po din binibigay mo lang. Nakapatoy, batoy mo na mahahaba. Naintindihan? Batas pang ikot, isang patay, ikot, isang gusto mo. Isa pa, isa pa, isa pa! Pare, isa pa, isa pa, isa pa! Coach Cromwell. Ay, yun, nakadirekta kay Hurt B, oh. Kasi yung push niya kanina, masyadong madali para sa mga... Sa, para sa floor defense itong San Sebastian. Still serving. She needs to do more power tips than yeah. drop balls. Kasi dun siya effective. Who's on? To Dolorito. Oh, that's too strong. But there's a check. There's a check ball. Kasi you can see, nag-iba yung projector na ball up. Biglang kalawas eh. Yeah. Tignan natin to. Dolorito flies in. This is hard for you. for LP. It bounced. Oh, Juna Gonzalez. 20 all. Bio now will be coming from the back. Perfect pass. Combination. Oh, Santos! Oh, Santos. <laughs> Listening to her coach and getting the points. Yeah. Hindi pa rin nakaka-adjust ang LPU defense dito. 
Kasi kitang kita ni Coach Roger sa labas. So these drops working for Kat. Dolorito parts it down. Dolorito. Dolorito back to her groove, get, getting that point. Targeting zone six. Mm. Yeah. She was, she was having a hard time. Yeah. Yeah. No, three errors in a row for her. Latang sinet sa kanya, but now she's getting her groove back. Santos down the line, outside. That was wide. Now LPU is in the driver's seat, and for them, this is the lady you want at the service line. Tano mama yama yawa Coach Roger. Hindi naman dalawa yung blocker mo. Bakit ka lang isiksik mo sa kanan? Paminsan-minsan gagamitin nyo yung volleyball IQ nyo kung mayroon mang natitira pa. Single block. Papalinis mo pala, pacheck. Single block yan eh. Pero kapag papadaanan dun sa loob, dun mo padaanin. Pero kayo ako eh. Pass, one stop. Ibali na huwag nyo ako igalang. Gawin nyo yung tama lang. <laughs> first part, okay, nasaktan na <laughs> sa instructions ni coach. Pero, you know, he, he's, right, he's just trying to fire up his team here. Puzon, so, Venice Puzon, one of the best servers in the league on deck to start the rally. That one is saved. Here we go. Tula is denied off the block. Jaja Tula! LPU. With a two-point advantage. Let's check this one out. Tulang going through Santos. She gets the check out. Puzon again. Perfect pass. Back set. Santos. Oh, what a dive by Guzman. Oh! Doguna. Wow, that was a great serve by their libero Guzman. Yeah. Medyo na short ball, na short yung power dun sa attack ni Duguna. Yeah, no. Good dive, good save by Blue Guzman. Duguna. Oh, Duguna. Kat Santos with a jump serve. Lopez with a good pass. Tulang winding up and putting it down. Match point, LPU. The Lady Pirates are now at match point. The Lady Pirates now serving for the match. Jordan are on the verge Tolito. of their second win of the season. Jonah to serve. Too strong. Buhay pa ang San Sebastian. A pressure-packed Serve from Juna Gonzalez here. It's Juna Gonzalez serving for the Lady Stags. I'm nervous for her. Yeah. <sighs> a very tense serve. Oh. Good one. Doguna. Oh, ends the match. Joan Doguna. Joan Doguna. Yes, as expected of Doguna. Coach Gromel, kinabahan pa. What an end to this highly competitive match between LPU and San Sebastian. LPU will take their second win of the season. The final, 25-18, 25, 22, 21, 25, 25, 23. Players, stand by in favor of the now 2-0 LPU Lady Pirates. Great match. I think the longest match, well, yeah, one of the longest matches so far in the competition. This one extended to a four set. Well, have a for five sets so far in season 99. All right, let's listen to the school hymn of Lyceum of the Philippines University.
We're still at the conclusion of this match. Lady Pirates snatching their second win of the season, winning it in four sets over San Sebastian. When we return, we will head coach of LPU and our best players of the game. We'll see you again Season 99. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangan puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasama ng Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang labang. Final score, 93. Sa ating laban, and again, it is the LPU Lady Pirates with another four sets win, this time against San Sebastian. And as promised, this is still Martin Avier with Jess Karakrakin. Pinamis namin kasama natin head coach ng uh, LPU Lady Pirates. Nandito si Coach Cromwell Garcia. Coach, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Oh, si Coach, makakahinga na ulit. Grabe yung laban na yun, Coach. Hard-fought win against uh, the San Sebastian Lady Stags. First off, congratulations. Um, you had chances to put it away in three sets. Gusto kong malaman yung kung ano yung naging reaction nyo. How did the team absorb uh, that set number three loss at paano kayo bumawi nung set four? Actually, uh, umpisa pa lang sabi ko sa mga bata, mahirap pa naman ng baste. Mm -hmm. And alam naman natin na legendary coach, Coach Rodian. Well coached talaga sila. Kaya sabi ko hindi po pwede mag-take for, uh, for granted no magre-relax or uh, magbababa ng laro. Uh, kaya nung third set, medyo sabi ko ito na, umaangat na yung laro ng baste. And sabi ko sa mga bata, hindi po, hindi, hindi po pwede papahay kayo ng ganyan lang. Coach, gano'n ka ka-stress kanina? <laughs> Kasi feeling ko talaga stress na stress ka, lalo nung siyempre, magkasunod yun ang third and fourth set. Yes. Parehas di kitan tayo. Okay, your thoughts, uh, what was going through your mind at siyempre, Ano yung na-discovery mo dun sa team mo, lalong-lalo na na-survive nila yung set for na yun? Actually, sabi ko, uh, character development. Along, siguro along the way, matututunan naman nila na habang tumatagal, dapat lalong silang tumitigas okay. sa paglalaro. And then, uh, yung mangyayari kanina, third set and uh, fourth set, uh, wala naman akong masyadong iniisip kasi yung full trust ko na sa mga players ko na yan. Okay. Coach, bago kayo pasa kay Cheska dito, gusto mo pa ba ng mga character development games na ganito? Parang ang sayo eh. Sabi ko parang mauubos na yung buko para tapos itong season na ito. Coach, I, I just wanna know, ilang percent ba ang napakita nila today? Actually, in my right, siguro mga nasa about 70 percent. Because uh, yung pressure na. Yes. Eh. So we have more to look 
forward to sa lalaruin ng Lady Pirates in the upcoming games that they will have. Yes. Uh, marami pa siguro kahit pa paano, marami pang inalabas, marami pang inubuga. Yeah, may pahala pa. Ito si Coach Chrome. And again, we're just getting started in the season. Two straight wins for you guys. I wanna talk about, you know, one player who is flying under the radar right now. Siyempre, ganda ng performance ng Dolorito, ng Doguna, even Pio is starting to perform here. Jaja too lang. Alam natin kung gaano ito kagaling. Season 97 pa lang, isa na ito sa mga leaders na sa puntos. Pero dito, pag kinakailangan nyo, siya yung nagpo-produce high percentage today. What can you say about her performance? Actually, hindi pa, karin, hindi pa yun yung na-expect ko sa kanya. Mm. Mas mataas pa ang level doon. Kasi uh, knowing Jaja, yung hard work ng bata, iba. Uh, yung focus na sa ginagawa niya sa gusto niya magpapuntahan. Nagulat ka ba? Kasi siyempre, ito si Jaja, I think, pandemic pa lang, nag-send sa'yo ng video. Hindi mo nakita yung laro. Nakita mo na sa practice na yung laro. Nagulot ka ba na ganito yung naabot niya ngayon sa kanyang... Uh, at ganito yung nagiging performance niya? Actually, hindi. Kasi from the start pa lang, uh, bubble time pa lang, pagdating nila sa amin, even na uh, hindi kami magkakakilala, uh, work ethic pa lang ng bata, uh, nasa ibang level na. Mm -hmm. Kaya sabi ko, malayo ang mararating itong bata ko. Mm -hmm. Coach, si Hart Bio ulit, pag-usapan natin, Siyempre, back-to-back -back games, ang ganda ulit ng pinakita. Madge, ano mo siya eh, uh, surprised. Yeah. Surprised starter mo siya in the previous match, pero mukhang nasolidify na niya yung position na yan. Ang masasabi mo sa kanya, especially, you know, she didn't expect it, ginulat mo lang siya, tapos ganyan rumisponde. Uh, actually, very proud. Sobrang proud ako kasi nakita ko naman na pinaghirapan din niya yung uh, bagay na yan. Then, parang... Nung umpisa, willing pa siya, willing na siya na ano eh. Uh, sige, dito ako sa bench, bench. muna. Ah. Then, nung nagulat siya, sabi ko, nung uh, tinanong ko siya after, bibitawang pa ba yung pwesto na yun? Sabot niya sa akin. Oh, yun. Coach, gusto ko lang malaman, ano po yung something na nakita yun. nyo? Kay, kay Hart Bio. Ayun yung report kasi ni Mickey kanina. May nakita ka daw na something kay Hart. <laughs> Kaya nilagay mo siya sa starting uh, lineup. Actually, uh, naging plano ko siya week before nung first game namin. Eh. Mm. Kaya sabi ko, parang along the way sumay sistema na siya. Along the way na sabi ko, parang ang ganda ng ritmo. Ang ganda ng rhythm namin pag nandiyan dyan sa sunod. Sabi ko, sige nga, try ko nga pagdating ng first game. Pero hindi ko siya ginawang starting during kong training. Training? Sa doon na sa first game. So ginulat mo talaga. Ay, one week pa lang. One week ahead, nakikita na pala ni Coach Cromel. Nag-perform na sa utak ngayong plano na yon Okay. Coach, you know the drill. Siyempre, nanalo kayo. Pagkakataon mong patiin, pasalamatan lahat ng sumusuporta sa inyo. Uh, to LLPU community, maraming maraming salamat po, uh, especially sa Laurel family. Salamat po sa support at tiwalang binibigay nyo. And uh, sa family ko po, uh, to my wife, uh, Melory. And uh, happy birthday din sa kapatid ko, Cyril Garcia. And uh, Daddy Tito, happy birthday po. Uh, sana po kami ay patuloy niyo suportahan uh, sa aming paglalakbay dito sa NCAA. Coach! Cromwell Garcia, two straight wins to start off season 99. Coach, congratulations. Ayan. Coach. Thank you, thank you. Oh, diba? Nakahinga na. Hindi <laughs> na siya mauubusan ng buhok. Okay, Coach Cromwell. Next game pa ulit, Coach. No more. Ne, more fun. Next game ulit. Ganyan ulit. Okay. Pero syempre ngayon, kakausapin na natin is sa mga leading scorers ng LPU Lady Pirates today for the second straight match in double figures. Nandito si Juan Duguna. Wait. Mickey Santos. Si Mickey mag-interview. Mickey, go ahead. Thank you so much, Martin and Cheska. Tama kayo. Isa na nga sa mga grabe ang performance for this game is John Daguna, who's one of the outside hitters of the LPU Lady Pirates. Pero John, congratulations first of all. Pero kamusta naman ba naging takbo ng game para sa'yo? Okay naman po, masaya. Pero ayun nga po, ang bigat lang sa feeling. Bakit ba bigat sa feeling? Ano yung sinasabi mo bigat sa feeling? Kasi, ewan namin, kahit anong, ano, kahit anong cheer up namin sa isa't isa, pero ang bigat pa rin sa feeling. Hmm. Kinabahan ka ba? Hindi Siyempre, po. this is very uh, close game, di ba? Masasabi natin, umabot kayo ng fourth set, 25-23. Kinabahan ka ba na mamaya umabot pa kayo ng fifth set? Hindi naman po. Ano bang sinabi ni coach na, 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 na pag-desisyonan nyo na, ay, tapusin na natin po? Hindi. Uh, anong una, sinabi niya sa amin na yung katawan namin ang tigas, gano'n. Alam, alam um, nire-remind niya kami na hindi ito yung laro namin. Pero yun nga, hindi talaga mm. mapigil. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Ito nga, sabi rin sa akin ni Coach Cromwell na parang hindi niyo parang napapakita yung 100% firepower niyo as a team. Bakit kaya as team niyo? Ayun nga po, hindi, hindi, alam, alam din namin sa isa't isa na hindi, hindi to yung, yung laro talaga namin. Tsaka, 
ayun nga, yung, yung mga pinaghirapan din namin, yung mga inaano. Alright, that's right. At syempre, I can't wait to see the full power of the LPU Lady Pirates. Pero Joanne, kung meron ka mga gustong batiin, pasalamatan now sa time. Thank you po sa LPU community. Sana um, patuloy niyo po kaming supportahan. Um, and uh, shoutout po sa Daguna family. Alright, short but simple. Daguna family nila. <laughs> Pero ayun nga po, once again, this is John Daguna, one of the um, uh, outside hitters of the LPU Lady Pirates. Once again, congratulations and I can't wait to see you on your next game. Balik sa inyo. Salamat, Mickey. 20 big points today for Joan Daguna. A total of 37 points in their first two games para dito sa LPU Lady Pirates. But we'll talk to more players here. Nandito kasama natin, the silent, ito nang tawag ko silent operator, yes. season 99 for LPU. Jaja Tulang, also in double figures today. Una muna, Ja, congratulations. Thank you po. Okay. Ja, ayan, sige, ayusin natin yung headset mo. Ayan. Okay, mas okay yan. Right. Pero, Jaja, dati, naalala ko, season 97, ikaw yung nag-emerge talaga as the leader in terms of points. Tsaka ikaw lagi pinupuntahan ni Venice. Ngayon, si Joan Duguna tsaka si Jonah Dolorito. Yung pagdating sa priority ng bola, syempre sila yung pinupuntahan ni Venice. Ikaw yung pangatlo in line. Pero ikaw ngayon, I think 45%. 46? 46% efficiency today. Pag pinupuntahan ka ni Venice, sigurado. Ano yung thoughts mo sa role mo? Uh, for LPU this season? Uh, ano po, uh, goal ko po pa talaga para sa sarili ko is makapag-contribute po talaga sa team. Uh, yung consistency po, yung uh, parang binu-work ko talaga sa sarili ko po. Consistency? Opo. Tres puntos ka today, one block, um, one ace, and now binalik ka kasi parang last season, nagpapalit-palit ka, nagiging middle ka. Okay. <laughs> uh, ngayon, nasa gilid ka na ulit, nasa wings ka na ulit. Mas komportable ka ba ngayon? Opo, mas komportable Mas gusto mo yan? Opo. Kaya pala, ganyan yung pinapakita. Kita mo to. Oh, laging sigurado yung atake. Yes. Ito ni Jaja Tula. Yes, Jess. I, I just wanna know, paano mo pinaprepare yung sarili mo para sa games this season? Ano po, more on conditioning po ako sa legs. Kasi po, yun talaga yung ano. Do you warm up mas maaga? Oh. Tapos ano po, nag, uh, parang nagme-meditate din po. That has been effective for you kasi nakita natin sa nilaro niya eh. Oh. Kada bibigyan ka ni Puzon, more or less, ilista mo na. Mm. Oh <laughs> my. Right? So, in-incorporate yun yung meditation this season. Ikaw, personally? Opo. Para mak... Talaga, 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 hindi ka namin. Next time kukuha na ka, nag-meditate ka ba yung game? Kapag nagta-time out po. Nagta-time out, sige. Tignan natin, sabi <laughs> natin. Kaya pala, walang kakaba-kaba. Oo. Oh. Sa mukha niya, di ba? Kasi sabihin natin, natutulog si Jaja. Ay, hindi, hindi, nag-meditate yan. Nagpo-focus yan. Hindi, pero ang ganda ng pinapakita mo this season, again, you are the silent operator. You give this team so much versatility kasi, kung ano, dalawa yung scorer nyo. May sure ball ka, Daguna, Dolorito. Kanina, nag-struggle si Jonah Dolorito. Nakita kita nag-step up. Okay, ano yung pumasok sa isip mo noon nung pagkatapos si Dolorito, ikaw naman ang binibigyan ni Vinice? Ano po, uh, tinake advantage ko na po yung parang sa akin po, binibigay ni Ate Ben, ni Ate Benis yung set po kasi nga po, uh, mahirapan po kami pag nag set pa po kasi parang mawawala po yung momentum namin tapos yung moral na rin po. Oh, so, again, na-avoid nyo yan. You won it in four sets. Jaja, congratulations. Pwede mong patiin ngayon yung mga nanonood sa'yo. Your loved ones. Um, hello po sa Tulong Family, Hinanay Family po. Um, si Mama po, tapos yung mga kapatid ko nanonood po ngayon. Um, hello din po sa tito ko na nasa Canada po. Uh, ano, hello po, Papa Riden. Tapos po kay Crazel Aguilar po and sa mga friends ko sa Kainta. At saka thank you rin po pala sa um, LPU community sa patuloy na pag-support sa amin. Thank you po. Yun, Jaja Tulang from uh, Angono, Kainta ka dila. Kainta, kainta Rizal lang. po. Kainta lang. Iba po yung ano. Iba po yung ano. Okay. Ang, kainta. Kainta Rizal. Kainta. Yan, mga kaibigan niya sa Kainta Rizal. Jaja, congratulations. Thank you po. At maraming salamat. Thank you po. Okay. Jaja Tulang of the LPU Lady Pirates. Okay. This is the final score. And after a while, after our quick break here, we'll give you the final numbers of this match. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris.
Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong sa Buanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidelin Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban para sa Pilipinas sa Paris Olympics sina E.J. Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Bagong WBC World Minimum Weight Champion si Pinoy boxer Melvin Jerusalem. Matapos po ang kanyang laban sa Nagoya, Japan. Sa loob ng 12 rounds, ilang beses na patumba ni Melvin ang Japanese boxer na si Yudai Shigyoka. Sa dulo, nakuha ni Melvin ang panalo via split decision. Dahil dyan, may 22 wins na siya sa kanyang professional record. Nito pong nakaraang taon lamang naging kampiyon din si Melvin matapos makuha ang WBO World Minimum Weight title. Congrats, Melvin! Panalo via knockout ang boksingero mula General Santos City na si Eman Bacosa sa isang boxing match sa Paranaque. Tinalo ni Bacosa ang pambato ng Davao City na si Jean-Claude Langahin. Sa round 3 ng kanilang laban, sunod-sunod na suntok ang pinakawalan ni Bacosa bago itigil ng referee ang laban. Dahil dyan, tatlo na ang panalo niya sa kanyang professional record. Lahat yan via knockout at wala pa rin siyang talo. Congratulations, Eman! Back at the conclusion of this matchup between San Sebastian and LPU. Again, if you guys were not able to catch the game, panalo po ang LPU Lady Pirates. Another nail biter for uh, Coach Cromwell Garcia. And now we will check our updated showdown between two scorers. And these ladies put on a show today. 20 points for Joan Duguna today. Na interview natin siya. 20 big ones hitting. Uh, 20 point mark for the first time this season. Pangalawang game pa lang naman. Yeah. She now has a total of 37 points. In two games pa lang yan. In just and two games. Mapapansin mo dun sa interview niya, she said na mabigat pa yung pakiramdam nila. No. Dahil nag-extend sila ng four sets. That's right. Na iba daw yung pakiramdam. So, we'll see kung ganyan pa rin yung pagiging pakiramdam nila next game. Ito naman yung mga numero ni Kat Santos. Again, coming alive in the third set. 19 points in total. 17 off attacks and two aces for Kat. So, First two sets, niya, chess, three points. three points. Yeah. Third and fourth, 16. 16. Oh, big, yeah. 16 big points. And that's, you know, that's really the difference uh, for San Sebastian. That was a difference for them why they were able to beat LPU in the third set and then, you know, force LPU to the limit, to the brink in the fourth set. Kaya di kitan tayo doon. Tignan natin yung final numbers natin. Yes, we can see here na mas lamang itong Lady Pirates pagdating sa attacks. Sa blocks, pantay lang sila. Sa digs, of course, the Lady Pirates on top. Pagdating sa aces, ito namang Lady Stags ang namuno. Uh -huh. But sa unforced errors, mas marami pang in ang LPU, Lady Pirates, kesa sa San Sebastian Lady Stags, which is amazing kasi yeah. sila yung panalo. Yeah. And, malala natin, early sets natin, mas maraming error yung San Sebastian. Yeah. That was the first set, 12 errors sila, yeah. nabigay nila sa LPU, but then binawi nila, and obviously, yung panalo ng Lady Pirates, ginawa nila through their points din. Yeah, I was just surprised with the aces as well, because mm -hmm. LPU had a total of 14 aces against San Beda. <laughs> Ngayon, apat mas maraming San Sebastian, but still, yeah. they won the game. Alright, dahil sa panalong yun, Etong LPU joins Benilde on top of the team standings, both 2 and 0 right now. San Sebastian crashing down to 0 and 2, tying San Beda and EAC so far. Yeah. Um, you know, first two games pa lang naman. Huh. Yeah. yeah. So we have a lot more games to go through. Marami pa silang chances baguhin or bawiin. Ito, ito ay para sa San Sebastian, San Beda, and of course the EAC. And of course, ito Lady Blazers, Lady Pirates, the ones on top, you know, they have to make sure na they win every game to maintain that spot. Kasi, again, bilog ang bola, we don't know yeah. if 
tomorrow, ganito pa rin lalaruin natin or if iba yung lalaro or may times pang kontra pelo mo yung isang mm. team eh. Not, right. No matter what you do, hindi kayo manalo-nalo sa kanila Correct. because they know how you move and they know how to kontra kung anong gagawin nyo. So, as much as possible, train lang sila and take it one game at a time, one point at a time actually. Precisely. We just started the season, although this is a single round robin. Two games pa lang, one game pa lang yung mga team natin. One to two games pa lang yung mga teams natin dito. So a lot of chances para bumawi para sa kanila. But, you know, on the other side of that, kailangan ngayon pa lang meron na silang sense of urgency na, uy, wait lang. Okay, we need to win. We cannot go into a deeper hole uh, at this point of the season. Yes, because kahit na marami pa silang games, yung liga maigsi lang. Ah. Of course, one round lang ito. Pag natalo kayo sa isang team, next year na kayo pwedeng bumawi eh, kung right. hindi kayo aabot ng Final Four. Eh. So, as much as possible, rack up the wins and make sure or hope na aabot kayo sa Final Four. Okay. And, yeah. That's right. Oh, bukas. Ganda nung laban natin. 9.30 a.m. right here inside Phil Oil Perpetual. 1-0. Letran also 1-0. <laughs> Letran 1 versus Aureliano and the debut of Coach Oliver Almadro should be a competitive matchup to start off the day. And then in the afternoon, kantakin ang laban natin. 2.30 p.m. It will be Aureliano versus Mapua. You know, all teams wala pang talo, so medyo madugutong laban na ito. But of course, they don't want to lose. That's right. Okay, may Aureliano may talo na. Iletran, oh. oh, ang natalo, Letran ang nakatalo sa Aureliano. First game. All right, Chess. Oh, wow. Yan, okay. yan. That was the debut of Coach Oliver Almadro. All right. Cheska, thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Martin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Chess? Yes. <laughs> but on behalf of the entire broadcast team, my partner, Cheska Rakraken, our coach, our reporter, uh, Mickey Santos, our panel director, Roy Tulio, our directors, Roman Gonzalez, Pacasena, and then this is Stephen Cruz. Uh, this is Martin Aviar saying thank you. Of course, our director, uh, Derek Abit Ramos and Papi Manny Gabutina, our game producer. This is Martin Aviar saying thank you. Sa pagtutok po ninyo, mga kapuso, it was LPU winning in four sets again. An exciting match against San Sebastian. They go 2-0 and in the season. San Sebastian goes 0-2. and We'll see you guys again tomorrow for another edition of the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament only on GCV.